Off a new season, it's not uncommon to see some nerves or even sloppy play. No doubt. I mean, as a player, you put so much time and effort into preparing for the season. Sometimes emotions can get the best of you, and it can take a little time to settle into a game. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. Rando will step in at the four with Robinson as the center. Jalen Brunson out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's on an OB in at the three, the small four. That's, that's tough because that one's preventable. The defense has nothing to do at all with that turnover. Outside for Randall. In the corner, it's Robinson. Randall finds Brunson. Down to five on the shot clock. Even Shenzo can't hit it. On offense, here are the Rockets. Last time they met was right here, and they came out with the win. And they had to scrape and claw to get the win the last time these two teams went head-to-head. -head. It came down to a few key free throws at the end. Randall with the bucket. Well, Randall keeping you honest here. Not a knockdown shooter from that range, but is showing more and more that he's capable of doing just so. And for a team in the NBA's biggest market, Brent, amazing that it's been five-plus decades since the Knicks' last title. Right, that's unbelievable. I mean, they've been close a couple times, but that has not been in recent history, Kevin, as you know. They've had a lot of great players, but, man, it just shows you how hard it is to win in this league. Taking third overall in 2022, Smith, instead of trying to take the league by storm, he was looking for ways to fit in within the system. And that's what coaches love about players like him. The shot's good from DiVincenzo. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from D. They grab their own miss. Kicks it out to Van Vliet. And some nice passing there by Houston. Inside, Shingun. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. You know, the more you watch Smith, the more you marvel at his feel for the game. Asta Robinson. Now, here's DiVincenzo. Robinson, a screen on green. And the wide-open shot from DiVincenzo. Runs in the pass to DiVincenzo. Another shot. And again, it's New York. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Van Vliet attacking. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. And wheeling himself to the basket, Van Vliet has earned his spot in the NBA. This guy hard to deny. With the drive, pass to DiVincenzo. Back to Brunson. The three. And again, New York with the triple. Yeah, not a big part of Brunson's game behind the line, but he can knock him down. And we have really watched Jalen Brunson come into his own, playing at a higher level. Well, it's unbelievable, Greg, that he just had that spark here in Dallas and that that has triggered what it is we get from Jalen Brunson on a nightly basis. Respected for his toughness, his offensive game is growing. Now here's Brunson. Last game out, he had 40 points. DiVincenzo passes to Brunson. And the Knicks hit again from deep. Yeah, great outside shooting, really fueling this run. Smith for three. The Knicks pull it in. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, Green passes to Brooks. Now the pass to Van Vliet. And it goes out, out of, of bounds. bounds. Last touch by Ananobi. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for Brunson. Coming off a terrific season, he averaged about 24 points a game last year. Six assists and three rebounds. And you love how he facilitates their offense. Just a terrific decision maker. So many times it's with the extra pass. And man, he's delivering. Knicks on offense. They're on a 16-6 run. And Thompson sends it back. Adams finds Easton. 
driving the lane, and the dunk by Eason. A wonderful awareness from the big man as Steven Adams finds the open man. Here's Bogdanovich, and Bogdanovich throws it down. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. Here's Whitmore. He picked up 21 points in their last win against the Clippers. And he was also a terrific creator in that game as well. His assist total show you what a fantastic all-around effort it was. Now, here's Hart. Power down with both hands. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. Looked like a simple play and turned into a turnover. Can't give away possessions like that. Jalen Brunson has been on display for New York. He notched eight points in the quarter. And hit. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Knicks? Well, they haven't wasted any time getting into a groove from deep, putting up and hitting a healthy amount of three-pointers thus far. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out with great ball movement. The guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. Ridmore is out there with Tari Eason. And then there's Steven Adams, then it's Thompson, and it's Holiday, and at the point guard position. That's the five for Houston right now. Burks looking around. And here's Bogdanovich for three, and another three for New York. Now he's such a consistent shooter from range. Don't go handing Bogdanovich open shots. Burks can't get it to go. Last game for the Rockets, they pick up the win against the Clippers. And again, the turnover by the Rockets. And we've got a moment now to look at the rebounding trend over the last few months for Isaiah Hartenstein. In the last few months, the rebounding has, has sort of taken a bit of a dive for him. And, and a lot of factors could be the cause, but it's a trend that Coach would probably like to see him reverse. Here's Bogdanovich. And he drives in, and he finishes nicely on the layup. Bogdanovich has got the lead up to 13 now for the Knicks. And the Rockets hiring of coach Yudoka brought a lot of optimism, it seems, to the fan base. Yeah, Houston has had a rough go in recent years. And Yudoka took the Celtics to the NBA Finals in his long season as head coach. They're not expecting that kind of success right away, but they're hopeful he can turn things in the right direction. To the wing on the left. Back to Holiday. Shoots the three. Connects from three-point range. Holiday's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. New York leading by 10. Here's Bogdanovich. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. For all the work he does on the perimeter, you can't forget about Bogdanovich inside. Thompson finds Eason. And stolen by Achua. And pushing it up. Here's New York. And here's Bogdanovich for three. It's hauled in by Adams. And here's Holiday who will bring it up for Houston. Here's Thompson. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Yeah, they've raised their shooting percentage in this quarter. And they're starting to get on track. Houston with a big group substitution here. Shengun's checked in for Adams. Jabari Smith comes in for Jari Eason. Brooks checked in for Whitmore. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Aaron Holiday. Runs in the pass to DiVincenzo. And Brunson, here we go. And he banks in the lane. Brunson's got 10 points in the game. What a good burst from Brunson just to get by the initial defense. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. The Knicks are one of the most efficient offensive teams in the league, and that, of course, starts with getting the right looks. Coach Tom Thibodeau says we know what the value shots are. 
If you don't have one, how can you help create one? Whether that's attacking the rim, screen off the ball, do things that can help us create the shots that have high value. Kevin? Yeah, a disciplined approach. David, thanks. And Brent, how about this Mitchell Robinson kid? His work ethic inside, impressive. He's so dominant, Greg, on the inside. He's got that reach, able to go up and bother shots. He, he also led the league in field goal percentage in just his second year, so he knows where it is he's going to eat. Don't be surprised if he does that again. Rockets trail by 14. And here's Brooks from outside. Here's Smith. Passes it to Thompson. There's the drive, and Thompson stems it home. Rocketing off the deck. Thompson showing that youthful exuberance. Down low, here's Robinson. Takes the assist and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. And great find by Van Vliet. He's in control of this offense and generally makes good decisions. Outside for Robinson. Back to Brunson. Even Genzo against Thompson from the wing. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. Sometimes you run the two-man game, but nothing happens other than you having to make the play. Dante did it that time. Houston moving the ball around. Now that one from Van Vliet. That's pretty much not how they would defend the three-point line. Somebody's got a shadow him out there. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Rando kicks to Brunson. Beyond the arc. Rockets with the rebound. Well, after getting off to a great start, hitting those first two shots, he's definitely regressed a little bit in this quarter. Boy, that is a statement. Smith Jr. taking no prisoners. Robinson on the wing. That'll do it for the first half. Next lead by nine. And now we'll send it. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. They're firing on all cylinders from deep. Obviously, that was their strategy coming in, and they've executed. Give them credit. Mm -hmm. And there's more NBA. That is more than enough of. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. You know, Jalen Brunson has been exceptional here, guys. Wow. Really impressed with the shot selection through the first half. Just taking what he can get from the defense. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half and wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. Here's who Tom Thibodeau is starting the second half with. Randall will step in at the four with Robinson as the center. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's on an OB in at the first. Shingun, no good. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over it. Like you spent your first four seasons playing in New York. What's that like? But when the Knicks are winning, Kevin, there is no place you'd rather be. The fans are incredibly smart, loyal, and they'll treat you like a king. But no doubt that media pressure is for real. Master Randall. On the wing, DiVincenzo. Back to Randall. Crafty move. Two on the clock. Ananobi passes to Brunson. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. And Van Vliet, here we go. A shake. Shingun, unable to get that one. Excellent D that time from Robinson. And they're one of four here to start the second half. And Randall throws it down. Randall getting up there, explosive vertically on that play with great timing. Smith the pass to Shengu. Brunson against Van Vliet. Launches a three, buries it from three-point range. 
Van Vliet's got eight. No doubt about it. He has done a ton to help his team, but he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this. Ananobi passes to Robbins. Back to Ananobi. And here is DiVincenzo. Lock at six. Pass to Brunson. Fires the three. Robinson kicks to Randall. Brunson sets a screen for Randall. And Robinson wide open. He shoots. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. Randall's got his fourth assist in this one. From deep, Brooks traps in the train. Brooks has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And Greg, we still see players embellishing content. Is enough being done to discourage those creative flourishes? We're talking about flopping, right? I mean, we're seeing the league experiment assessing a technical free throw. It's necessary or guys will keep jerking their heads and falling down and we watch this back. The physicality Randall plays with night in and night out, Brent, is impressive. Yeah, he's one of those guys, Kevin, when you have this matchup, he's such a workhorse, you feel like he's going to eventually just wear down his opponent. He's got great conditioning, and he's always on the floor. A new lineup here for Houston. Achua, he's checked in for Julius Randle. That's a dozen straight points coming off the trip. New York leading by six. The pass to Hartenstein. Pat Donovich wide open. Good on the three-point shot. 12 points for him. And this is where Bogdanovich's value is. He's able to score in a variety of ways. Kick out to Adams. Passes to Easton. The feed now to Holiday. And stolen by Bogdanovich. Let's it go from deep. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. By himself. And the dunk by Easton. Beautiful transition offense there. That's execution at its best. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. Burks on the wing, guarded by Holiday. Back to Burks. Bogdanovich looking around. And it's Bogdanovich again missing. Here's Whitmore. From outside, off the mark. New York leading by seven. To the inside. And there's Bogdanovich. That's good on the assist by Hart. 14 points for Boyan Bogdanovich. And Holiday kicks to Thompson. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Thompson is one of the best pure athletes to come into the league in quite some time. He's fast, and boy, can he fly. Second free throw, no good. And so it's Burks bringing it up now for New York. Pass to Hartenstein. Achua with it. He's covered by Eason. Back to Achua, and it's out of bounds to New York. They'll retain possession. Great energy on the deflection, and a good job disrupting their offense. Yeah, appreciate the work right now on the defensive end. Here's Burks. It's hauled in by Adams. He lacks defense there. He's going to see fewer and fewer chances if he can't bury those kind of jumpers. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Here's a chew up. Wants to get it to Burks and does. Here's Hartenstein. Some nice D. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. And so it's New York with their lead. And now we take a listen into the recent huddle from. Offensively, we got to do it. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Adams is out there with Tari Eason. And it's Thompson. Then there's Whitmore, and it's Holiday in at the point. That's the five for Houston right now. To the paint. It's hauled in by Adams. 
Adams has got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Whitmore. Houston moving the ball around. Plays it up and banks it in. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Here's Hartenstein. Adams defending. And out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. So the Rockets end up going with a whole new group. Green taking his time here. And there's the call on Dante DiVincenzo. That's his first foul. First team foul. For three, Van Vliet. Brunson, a pesky defender, keeping those hands and feet active. From downtown, knocks down the three ball. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. On the pass to DiVincenzo. He feeds it to Randall. Randall is screen on Brooks. Here's DiVincenzo. And down it goes, jamming that one home. And how about Dante coming up and bringing his own inferno? Van Vliet finds Green. There's the triple. It's rebounded by New York. Robinson's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Rando passes to Brunson. Going inside. Rando against Van Vliet. Five to shoot. On T. Brunson. Shengun with the rebound. It's trailed by nine. To the middle. They kick it out to Green. For three, Van Vliet. Randall grabs the board. The Knicks have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Passes it to Brunson. It's Robinson high post. Randall with the ball. Robinson a screen on Smith. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And Randall just continuing to fight out there, whether you're looking at his career, in the individual game, this guy just doesn't back down. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. We are looking around the NBA, Greg. It feels like there's more parity amongst teams than ever before. No dominant team has been the favorite every year. And that can all change, though, in a heartbeat. Every so often, a dynasty can be born out of nothing. Stolen by Brooks. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. The Rockets with the new 14. Here's Green, and the layup's good off the glass. Yeah, Green's motor helped him there, outworking the defense to get the ball back and finish. Smith against Randall. Back to DiVincenzo. Randall with a screen for DiVincenzo. Down low. Randall with the bucket. And the Knicks lead by eight. And that's how you execute the pick and roll. Randall slicing well after setting the screen. Good timing. And Shingun throws it down. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Even Genzo with the screen on Brooks. Stolen by Van Vliet. Here's Green. That ball. Great assist by Van Vliet. And now it's just a four-point Knicks lead. No fear in the eyes of Green. Really and ready to take the big shot for his team. Hit by Randall. Back to DiVincenzo. Stolen by Van Vliet. And the wide open shot from Green. Hands it from downtown. And now just a one point New York lead. And a chance now to catch up on some numbers with the hustle stats for the Rockets. I like their defense tonight, and you don't talk about that side of the ball enough. You can really change a game when you get a bunch of steals and get out of transition. And another difference maker that we can point to tonight has been second-chance points. They've been in there. They've had active hands. They've been in great position. 
And they've been smart attacking the offensive glass. Whoa, the nerves on this guy. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up a notch. Brooks finds Green. Now Smith. Back to Green. Smith outside. It falls! A tremendous three to tie it up. And a big moment right there for Smith Jr. How about the toys in the clutch? Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. I now I send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldrin. Hey, Kevin. Well, let's summarize what Tom Thibodeau went over with his guys during the break. Now he emphasized it's anybody's game right now. He told his guys to focus on finishing the task at hand and not to get distracted. He to go out there and play with authority. Kevin? Okay, David, thanks. Randall. On deep, Brunson. Oh, and a chance to win the game, but the last second shot is offline. We're headed in. Glad to have you with us as we get going in overtime. Neither team giving an inch in this one. The pairing up front, Smith and Shengun. The wings, Green and Brooks. And it's Van Vliet in at the point guard. And we see this all night. Green with a wide range of ways to score. And boy, he just keeps coming. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Brooks misses. The Knicks with the lead. DiVincenzo kicks to Randall. New York moving the ball around. Randall is screen on Brooks. Pass to Brunson. To the inside. Pocket four. And then Robinson slams it in. Robinson's not going to waste that chance. The big man with a high percentage shot. Here's Green, and there's the drive. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm, trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Ananobi kicks to Brunson. Pass to DiVincenzo. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It goes on Dylan Brooks. He drops the first one, and that will put them up by two. And a new group in for the Knicks. Hartenstein, he's checked in for Robinson. Achua comes in for Julius Randle. Hart, he's checked in for Dante DiVincenzo. And Alec Burks subbed in for Jalen Brunson. Out to Smith. From deep. Sinks the triple. Smith's got it all tied up now for the Rockets. Playing with confidence. Smith wants to be a guy that this team can rely on. Here's Hartenstein and the layup fall. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, both of these teams Hart locked in on the offensive end. It's going to be a high-scoring affair tonight. Timeout called the Rockets. They're behind by two. 129 left to play in the first overtime. Houston making a switch. Thompson's checked in. And a new group in for the Knicks. Mitchell Robinson's checked in for Hurtenstein. Ando comes in for Achua. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for Josh Hart. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Burks. Robinson sets a screen for DiVincenzo. The pass to Ananope. Back to DiVincenzo. Hives to the hoop. With the bucket. And the Knicks lead by two. This is who you go to in the clutch. Randall stepping up big time. Shengun with a screen on Brunson. Shengun passes to Brooks. Thompson outside. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And with his movement skills, Thompson routinely catches defenders out of position. It's the first, that narrows the gap to one. And so Thompson nails both of them. And nice work at the line. I mean, when the game's this close, you have got to cash in on those opportunities. Randall finds Brunson. Here's on an open. Pass to Randall. 
Back to Ananobi. Yes! What a baller this young man is. Ananobi, even though he's young, he looks like a veteran in the clutch. And this is what dominating the glass looks like. He just cannot be contained. Sort of reminding me of a little Ben Wallace action here from his years with the Pistons. He's been that much of a force rebounding the ball. And that replay showed just how forceful that block was. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. The drive by Green counts. And with the game tight, Green gets even more in that zone and ensures he's delivering what his team needs. Here's Smith. To win the game, shot is good. But oh, it looks like this one might get reviewed. Very close on the ring. No basket, and if they got it right, there's another overtime to come. Quite like this first one of the year. You know, as a former player, you know firsthand that there's so much anticipation and hard work that goes into making it to opening day. So everyone right now is on a level playing field, and the dream is still alive. And here's the starting group for the New York Knicks. Randall and Robinson of the tandem inside. Dante DiVincenzo out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Ananobi in at the small forward position. Now here's Adebayo. Here's Rozier, and a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. The last few seasons, the Knicks have had a defensive-minded approach. And that's been the key for them getting back into the postseason, B.A. I mean, they have played great team defense and pride themselves on getting stops. And grant the resiliency and determination of the Heat not to be underestimated. Well, B.A., last season became just the second eighth seed in NBA history to advance to the finals. And Jimmy Butler said it. We don't care if you pick us to win. We never have. He never will. Outstanding play from Jimmy Butler. Doesn't get any higher percentage than that. Randall outside. Beyond the arc. Gets a hand on it. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Challenging the defense at the rim. Something he does very well. Excellent tipping. And he comes up with a bucket. From a big, Bam Adebayo has such an impressive handle. Oh boy, he's looking reckless now. Yet another foul call on him. Brunson against Rogier. Pass to Adebayo. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Brunson. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone by. 
Defensively, OG Ananobi has all the tools. Athleticism, he can get it done on the perimeter, and has the size to compete inside. Stolen by Hero. Pass to Adebayo. Back to Hero. Adebayo, a screen on Randall. Hero for three. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. A knockdown three-point shooter. Tyler Hero knows he has the green light to fire. DiVincenzo finds Robinson. Back to DiVincenzo. From the wing. Rebound by the Heat. And unlike some other guys, missing a wide-open look won't hurt his confidence at all. Pass to Butler. Back to Hero. Butler against Ananobi. Here's Jovic. Just five on the clock. It's hauled in by Robinson. You know what I appreciate about Mitchell Robinson is his defense and how well he uses his length, Grant. You know, he is so good, VA, at getting positioning to alter shots. And he finds ways to come up with a number of blocks, not to mention how active he is on the glass. Rozier against Brunson. Robinson with the block. Here is DiVincenzo. Coming off a solid outing against Chicago. Randall a screen on Hero. For three, DiVincenzo. And the Knicks, another three. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Out of bio, that's good. For his career, Bam shooting a high percentage from the field because he typically takes good shots. Brunson, hook it, and it's Randall with the assist. Brunson's got five points. And setting the tempo with an assertive move, like, where was the defense on that? Oh, sweet oh my goodness! Put this guy in the dunk contest. Jimmy Butler is ready to win it all. Robinson passes to Brunson from behind the arc. Great start so far, three of three in this one. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. His versatility and unselfishness is what makes Jimmy Butler such a talented passer. And so it's Brunson who brings up the ball for the New York Knicks. The Heat beat them last time when those two met in Miami. Yeah, they know they should have played better in that one. I'm not quite sure what happened. You know, sometimes you don't play up to your full potential. The important thing to figure out is what went wrong. And Miami has possession. Following the bucket by the Knicks. Jovic passes to Rozier. Here's Adebayo. And Adebayo slams it in. The confidence continuing to grow off the board. Adebayo takes it right back up. Brunson on the drive. And he gets that one. Ten points for him. His shot making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Hero. Back to Rozier. Now Butler. Adebayo with it. Here's Hero. Yes. And it's Adebayo picking up the assist. Not many bigs have Bam Adebayo's vision. Just another reason this coaching staff trusts him with the ball. It's been all about Jalen Brunson for the Knicks. And getting it going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Knicks. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that high. Another thing that's gone well for them is the mid-range jumper. <laughs> it's been falling with ease so far. So here are the five for New York as they start the second. Precious Achua is out there with Isaiah Hartenstein. Then there's Alec Burks. Then there's Boyan Bogdanovich. And it's McBride in at the one. Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. In a close game like this, everything has to be challenged. And everything has to be earned. 
Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. New York has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Smitty, when you look at the Heat bench, there's been one constant presence for years now. B.A., his name is Eric Spolstra. He's been pacing that sideline since 2008. That's a rarity these days. It speaks to the success Coach Spo has had there. And New York shooting an out-of-this-world 77%. Here he goes. Achua with the dunk. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Now here's Robinson. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Aggressive closeout on a great jump shooter. That's how you defend against the three. And there is a whistle. That'll go on Thomas Bryant. That's his first foul of the game. The Knicks with the lead. Here's McBride. And he goes in for the dunk. <laughs> I'll tell you, those finishes are always extra special when they come from your point guard. Oh, forget about his passing. Can we see more dunking? It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. Woo -wee. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Ooh, a two-handed power slam. Blazing first step of Burks, enabling him to leave the defense in his wake. Left side, Bogdanovich. Burks passes to Achua. Burks against Robinson. Back to Burks. He takes it in. Dunks it hard with one hand. Wow, he makes it look easy. The handles of Burks really set him apart at 6'6". He's got some moves off the bounce. And then Bryant with the dunk. Back to the basics. Unleashing the one-hand flush. Boy, he makes the basics look pretty outstanding, though, huh? <laughs> That's true. Here's McBride. Burks for three. The offensive rebound. Pass to Achua. Here's Burks. Guarded by Richardson. Burks passes to Bogdanovich. Oh, and Bryant with the block. Here's Hawkes. Smitty, let me ask you. What do you think has been the most impactful change to the game in recent years? I think it's the three-point shot, D.A. The number of attempts and also the bigs from the center spot and the power forward. Those guys taking threes has created a lot of space for guys to drive the basketball. Here's Bogdanovich. The Heat making their last shot. Bogdanovich on the wing. Left side Burks. Oh, and Bryant with the block. Hartenstein. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. They shoot again. Pass to McBride. Back to Hartenstein. Down low. Outside Bogdanovich. Puts up a three. Here's McBride. With the clock winding down. And he dunks it down. That was a clever move, slicing his way past the taller defender and finishing with some flavor. Pass to Bryant. 40 seconds left in the first half. Akez, no good. It seemed like he changed his mind during the layup, tried to pull off another shot, and choked. Outside Bogdanovich. Here's McBride, guarded by Richardson. Going inside, and a two-handed jam! <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Pass to Hawkes. Robinson on the wing, defended by Burks. A nice shot by McBride. And now an eight-point New York lead. And his teammates appreciate the unselfishness. Bogdanovich willing to get it to his open guys. And so we wrap up the first half. It's the thanks very much, Allie. And folks, we'll be right back to start the second half of this game.
And guys, when you played, what went through your minds in close games like this? I would be thinking, do not double team. And moving forward, a lot to like about that first half for the New York Knicks. Well, they got high percentage looks that let the lot. And that's it for half. Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. You look at Jalen Brunson. What a contribution. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. This is his challenge, to continue to dominate, to help them try to close strong here in the second half. Hero and Butler make up the perimeter pair. Then it's Bam Adebayo. Then it's Terry Rozier. And it's Jovic in at the four. That's the group in the game for the Heat. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Rozier, the pass to Jovic. Out to the right wing. Adebayo against Robinson. Here's Rozier. Kicks it to Hero. Here's Jovic. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's going to go on Mitchell Robinson. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. No good on the second. So he hits one of two. And so Randall will bring it up for the Knicks. To the wing on the left. And an Obi for three. The putback. It's good on the putback. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. Hero for three. The shot that time not on target. Good work defensively by DiVincenzo. With his size and skill set, Julius Randle can be a walking mismatch. He'll put a big man on him, and he will blow right by him. Now, if you go small, he'll drag him to the block. So when Randle is focused and involved, he is a monster to deal with. Pass to Adebayo. Fires the three. That one doesn't drop. Missed four straight shots now. At one point, do you have to call a timeout and regroup? Butler against Ananobi. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. One advantage for this team, OG Ananobi's versatility defensively. BA, OG has got the size and length to match up against anyone. He takes a no-nonsense approach, and he's active. He looks to disrupt. Now here's Butler. Butler with emphasis. He is really shouldering the load on the offensive end and doing an outstanding job. But he needs the rest of his team to step up. Brunson on the drive. Outside for Randall. And it's going to be out of bounds. New York will have another go. New York ball. And let's use this time to have a look at last year's steals leaders. OG Ananobi, number one. <laughs> Second is Jimmy Butler. These two struck fear into their opponents last year. Able to force so many steals, they're a problem for opposing offenses. A line change here for Miami. Burks finds Bogdanovich. From deep three-point land. New York no good that time either. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. There's the block. And here they come. A chance here to catch up with Ali from the sideline. Well, through NBA Africa, the league is putting a lot of resources into growing the game there. Hall of Famer Dikembe Mutombo is an investor, and he said, it's always been my dream since I got into the league. I want to see the NBA on my continent. Africa is a place full of treasure, and I'm happy to see it taking place. Brian? Outstanding. Look forward to that. Thanks, Ali. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. On the wing, Burks. Pass to Hartenstein. Oh, sweet move. And Burks lays it in. Burks has got eight. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Right, the pass to Richardson. And it's flushed down a nice jam. Josh Richardson with an athletic play at the rim. It's all about making sure you get a quality look. And that's one. 
Here's McBride. Hounded by Wright. Shot on the wing. And they pick up two. Burks has gotten four this quarter. Shooting at a high clip. He's found ways to get quality looks. Pass to Hawkins. And the layup falls. I like that pass from Duncan Robinson. Keeping his eyes up and his options open. New York has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Here's McBride. Hounded by Wright. Burks for three. Oh, he trains it. His sixth make and nine tries so far. And since the halftime break, their offense has just been on another level. You know, the coach has had something to say about that. No question, they've settled in and executed brilliantly. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Here's Hardenstein. No points so far. And that's a foul called on Duncan Robinson. That's his first foul. So New York ends up going with a whole new group. Heat on D. They trail by 14. Outside Brunson. There's the triple. Rebound by the Heat. Richardson up top. Here's Hawkes. And the Heat. Another three. Give Josh credit, taking the challenge offensively. Discipline, and that's a beautiful pass. The drive by DiVincenzo for three. Randall buries it from three. Randall's got seven points in the game. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. The reason why they stayed aggressive, and they have not let up this entire... And so it's New York, up 14 as we wrap up the quarter. They hold a real solid lead right now. Love their approach tonight. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. Talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dime. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. So on the floor for the Knicks, Randall and Robinson are the tandem inside. Jalen Brunson is out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Ananobi in at the three, the small forward. Brunson takes it himself. Ooh, now seven for nine after that make. Now you see Brunson with that quick dribble. I mean, that is a nice play. And then Adebayo slams it in. Bam, letting it all hang out. And so Randall will bring it up for the New York Knicks. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Here's DiVincenzo. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. You know, that was an excellent play right there. Using his strength to power through contact. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for New York. For me, consistent penetration the entire game. And that's given them a lot of options. Yeah, all game long, they've been also playing well inside in the paint. Lots of points are coming their way thanks to them attacking the interior. Out to the right wing. Randall outside. Pass to Robinson. Outside Ananobi. Oh, it's stolen by Butler. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Offensive rebound. Hero for three. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Robinson's got his fourth rebound in this one. I love their work on the glass. They hold a nice rebounding advantage. Brunson passes to Ananobi. Outside for Randall. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Brunson outside. Adebayo grabs the board. For Miami, they've gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Here's Butler. Oh, look at Butler going to work. They have no answer defensively inside. Kicks it to Hero. Butler against Ananobi. Here's Rozier. Drives to the hoop. Oh, Robinson with a block. Brunson passes to Randall. The kick out to Brunson. Back to Randall. 
launches it from deep. And there's Brunson. That one's good. On the assist by Randall. Brunson's got 10 points in just the second half. Pass to Hero. To the paint. DiVincenzo with a steal. Outside Ananobi. The three. And again, New York with the triple. Gotta love how they've just maintained their intensity, even when they're this far up. They don't want to leave no chance for a comeback. Just focus on playing the right way. Adebayo drives in. And count it. Now five for seven. When you're trying to stop Bam Adebayo on the drive, you have to remember he's big, he's strong, and he's fast. Fires the three. And that one's good for Brunson. Brunson's got 23 points. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Knicks. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. And for the year, this will be the third win in four games against this team. They really brought it tonight. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Jalen Brunson. He really played at his preferred pace. Never let adjustments by the defense speed him up or slow him down. Adenobi passes to DiVincenzo. Shot is up. And it's New York with another. Uh, leaving nothing to chance. This run shutting the door. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. What vision from Rogier there. Seeing his teammate was wide open and making the right pass. Here's Brunson outside. And the Knicks, another three. Excellent effort on the road. They've literally sucked the energy out of this arena. And when you're on the road, you can't be tentative coming into a game like this. I thought their aggressive approach was the difference. And he knocks down the first one. One thing I love about Jimmy Butler and his defense, he works the passing lanes. He'll make a play on the defensive end that leads straight to points. They can simply hold on to the ball here. No question, B.A. They deserve the win. Here's Brunson. Fires away from way outside. Off
It's just so great, Clark, to be here with you. How excited are you? No more off-season talk, guys. I mean, finally, we get to play for real. Some games that count. Let's go. Like me, on Christmas morning, I am excited. Here's the starting group for Houston. We've got Fred Van Vliet. Tari Easton is out there with Dylan Brooks. Then it's Alperin Shangoon. And it's Thompson in at the two guard. Rozier, the pass to Hero. Back to Rozier. Here he goes. Hero against Van Vliet. Five on the clock. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. And there's that vertical of Hero. Gets off the floor with ease and just hammers that one down. Van Vliet kicks to Thompson. We're about one minute into the first. And the dunk by Eason. Nice there, getting the reverse. Love that. And, and the fans got a little bit of a show there. Guys, that one definitely had a little something extra on it. A jaw-dropper emoji is what I look like right now. Incredible. And last season, Greg, the Rockets tied for the league's second-worst record. They expect a different outcome this go-around. Yeah, their veteran additions and headlined by Fred Van Vliet key to turning the tide, but also continued progression by their youngsters. Hits it from three-point range. Rozier showing you nice feel for recognizing that one of his guys was wide open and got him the ball. Pass to Van Vliet. Over Rozier. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. Here's Butler into the lane. Oh, and the jam by Butler. Once Butler has some speed behind him, watch out. You know he's looking to throw that thing down. Now Eason. Takes it off the glass. Only one miss in the first five attempts. Clearly feeling. Well, he'd have gone 4-4 four four to start. So a nice offensive rhythm to start here. Here's Butler. Nice D from Brooks. Not a problem when that's your first miss of the game. Strong start. Just no chance there for the defense. Major size disadvantage. He's got no business trying to stop that slam. Just get out of the way. Now, Hero. He has seven. Here's Jovic. Butler deciding where to go with it. Jovic passes to Butler. That doesn't go either for Butler. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And you know, those second-chance opportunities can be game-changing. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. Yeah, a nice, strong finish on the inside. But, Greg, that's what he does. He's got the dunker mentality. An absolutely tremendous athlete able to go up and finish over the biggest of defenders. Now, here's Shangoon. No scoring in this one. Here's Thompson driving to the basket. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. And here we go. Rockets running again. Knocks it loose. And it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way. A moment to check out the numbers for Fred Van Vliet. He's coming off an excellent season. He was around 19 points a game. Seven assists and four rebounds. It's hard to wrap your head around numbers like these, but that is just what he delivers night in and night out. You know, it's so easy for us to take him for granted, to get spoiled with what he does. I think we've got to be more appreciative of the kind of impact this man has in every game he plays. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Here's Green, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Didn't seem like the defense was ready for Green inside that time. He came at him with a lot of energy and was able to draw the foul. 
And he makes both free throws. And so Bryant will bring it up for the Miami Heat. It's a three-point game. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Shoots over Adams. It's hauled in by Adams. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you can see the frustration on his face. From deep green, a shot missing. To the paint. Here's Richardson. Good, and it's Brian picking up the assist. Seems that Richardson just has a knack for always being in the right place. At the end of one, both teams putting up some points. Rocket. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Rockets. Uh, they've been so aggressive going strong at the defense, looking to score off of that penetration. Something else they're doing well tonight, guys? Lots of points in the paint. Something to continue to keep our eye on. This is how the floor looks for the Rockets starting the second. They've got Steven Adams. Whitmore is out there with Smith. And it's Green, and it's Holiday in at the point. Whitmore with it, defended by Bryant. Pass to Whitmore. And Whitmore throws it down. Oh, man, when Cam Whitmore throws it down, you feel bad for the rim. Puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, G.A. He really does put pressure on him. And you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense, they feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. Robinson for three. Cranes it from beyond the arc. Robinson's got his first three points of the game. That is room service delivery from right there. What a sweet nine to create a high percentage shot. Miami's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. So when we're talking about team identity, uh, Greg, what would you say is the Miami Heat's identity? Tough nose, aggressive, and hard working. Uh, that's what attracted guys like Jimmy Butler here in the first place. And that's the style of ball they want to continue playing. Robinson for three. Well, it's Green's effort that makes him effective as a defender in addition to his athleticism, but usually he just simply outworks folks. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. And Wright kicks to Richardson. From the arc, it's hauled in by Adams. Houston leading by three. Here's Green, and it's Green with the jam. Jalen Green has some serious hops. Yes, he does. The kick out to right. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Robinson for three. And the three ball is good. Robinson's got six. Not sure what the defense was thinking. I mean, you can't leave this guy open from deep. And DeLon Wright gets the whistle DeLon that time. Wright. That's his first foul. First team foul. Green outside, and again, it's the Rockets from deep. And getting going here in the second quarter, his second three-pointer of the game. The kick out to right. Richardson outside. Over Smith. That's good. The Houston lead is cut down now to just three on the basket from Richardson. You can see why his coaches want Richardson taking these kinds of shots. The results speak volumes. Oh, he just punches that one down with a fury. He rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. Guys, they're not backing off at all, are they? And Holiday kicks to Smith. Three-pointer. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got three assists now in this one. And players and coaches want a consistent whistle, Clark. Isn't that harder, though, when minor contact can be called a foul? Yeah, it is, Kevin, but I do think the officials do a great job. At the NBA level, there's more latitude for physical contact. These are the best players in the world. They're also the most athletic and the strongest players in the world. So giving them room, and I think the officials do a great job of officiating the game the way it should be. And I understand the cry about consistency, but remember now, the officials, much like the players, coaches, and broadcasters, 
they too are human. And it's Butler missing. Well, you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. They get it back. Eason. Back to Thompson. Eason with a screen for Thompson. A second chance effort. It's rebounded by Jovic. The Heat trail by eight. Here's Butler. Oh, and the jam by Butler. Butler knows what he can do inside. That time erupting for a throwdown. Kicks it out to Van Vliet. The pass to Eason. Brooks against Butler. Eason, a uh, screen on Butler. Six on the shot clock. Brooks, the pass to Thompson. Here's Shingun. And Shingun throws it down. Turkish thunder. Shingun tasting the sauce up top. Up top, Adebayo. And lead against Rogier. And another basket for Miami. Easy little jumper for him right there, guys. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for Houston. Six-point lead. Last time they met in Houston. Painful to watch, guys. You could see the frustrations mounting, unable to get into any kind of a rhythm whatsoever. Yeah, they had no answer for it. They simply got outplayed and outworked. Oh, and just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley. I got to say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. Neither did the defense. Fades back. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's the Houston Rockets with their leads. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. Well, right now for the Heat, at this point, you got to take every team you're up against as a test. Asking yourself, what can we do? And we come back to the game at hand in the first half. Plenty to like for the Houston Rockets. I know what Shaq's going to say. And that'll do it for... Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Well, guys, what can you say? Jalen Green, an impressive effort here today. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. The wingman, it's Hero and Butler. Then it's Bam Adebayo. Then there's Terry Rozier, and it's Jovic in at the four-man position. So that's who Eric Spolstra starts the second half with. Here's Eason. That falls. Great assist by Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got three assists in the game. Well, Clark, we know they're a young team with plenty of room for improvement. What's the most important things you think for these Rockets to do? Well, first and foremost, they've really struggled with turnovers. They've got to squeeze the orange. I mean, it's hard to win if you're turning the ball over. I think it's a matter of being organized at the offensive end. Takes a three. Van Vliet can't get it to go. The Heat trail by six. Ogier for three. Easton grabs the board. Houston's gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Here's Thompson. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. We see this night in and night out. Thompson uses his size and elevation to make tough shots in the paint. Now, Hero, 10 points for him. And there's the call on Amen Thompson. That's his first foul. First team foul. Hero against Thompson. Butler on the wing. Six points for him. Just five to shoot. Puts it up from 17. Got it in the Houston League. has been cut down now to just six in the basket from Rozier. How about Terry Rozier flashing the in-between game? Nice. Here's Thompson. Takes it inside. Houston now working with the new shot clock. 
Van Vliet looking around. Two points. That one goes. Van Vliet's got 11. I'm sorry. That's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they have. And they're pushing it up. And here's Brooks from outside. Miami grabs the miss. Hero on the wing. Begun covering. That's good by Hero. 12 points for him. Oh, and the touch on the interior. Hero can hit jumpers as well as capitalize in close. Boy, that is awesome defense, guys, against a capable finisher. Well done. I'm sure the coaches love that. Rozier finds Hero. Back to Rozier. Trills the three-pointer. Now it's just a three-point Houston lead. You've got to defend this. I mean, Rozier is more than willing to take the three ball if you give it to him. With Rozier, coaches and teammates speak Clark to how dependable he is. Night in and night out. Well, Kevin, he's rock solid. A very consistent performer. You can basically book 20 points, four boards, four assists nightly in every game with him. And there's a lot to be said for that kind of consistency. And Miami going with a whole new group out there. 149 left in the third. He takes it in, and he dunks it down. Boy, Wright really understands when he needs to look to pass the ball. An outstanding all-around play. Good, and it's Brian picking up the assist. Wright's got his second bucket. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Smith dishes to Adams. Back to Smith. Shakes him. Goes back up. And it's Adams getting it to go. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Robinson, that's good. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. And Green slams it in. And such great steal for the game. With more knowing where his teammates are at all times. Outside, Robinson. Driving inside. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six in the game. Guys, I tell you what, feels like everything is coming easy to him. Just taking what he sees and capitalizing. They kick it out to Green. Houston moving it around. Adams sets the pick for Green. Back to Adams. Up again, and Green is right there. Green's got 14 points for the game. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. The play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. Now, here's Richardson. Really left alone that time. Richardson. He's got six. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Third quarter, guys, and this has been a neck-and-neck -neck game. Both teams getting it done defensively as evidenced by the eight lead changes thus far. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. He is delivering a lot of room service times tonight. One sweet one after another. Miami shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. Well, you know, you've got to really appreciate DeLon Wright's uh, relentless desire to get better. I mean, this guy's constantly trying to hone his craft. Well, we thought the third quarter was over, but it turns out the officials are going to review the play to see the previous play is under the league. Making sure on this one, even though it may not matter in the grand scheme, but the replay process is faster than ever. You know, why not? Yeah, the replay center in Sakalk is providing the officials with the necessary... The ruling on the floor is confirmed. And the keep in the call is is it was close, but he had not released it before. The, and the game still closely contested as we end the third quarter. Heat out front, leading by just two. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And he 
slice the D wide open with this speed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. Fourth quarter on the court for the Rockets. Smith is out there with Whitmore. Then it's Green, and then there's Steven Adams, and it's Holiday in at the one. And the Heat going with the whole new group on the floor. You know, after connecting on one three-pointer in the first half, he hasn't netted another one since. Kicks it out to Hero. Driving in. Yes, once again, it remains perfect. Six attempts and six hits. More than a great jump shooter. Hero is a tremendous ball handler who can finish the drive with either hand. And with that, the Heat lead is cut down to just two points in the bucket from Thompson. That's going to be over and back, not watching for the line that time. And, and those are the kinds of mistakes that are magnified when we're talking about a game down the stretch. Inside, Shingun hits hauled in by the Heat. Adebayo's got four rebounds now tonight. Butler kicks to Rozier. Butler attacking and slam dunk by Butler. Driving in, Butler makes excellent use of his speed there, catching the defense off guard. Brooks finds Thompson. Count the basket and the foul. Tyler Hero picks one up. Yeah, nothing too fancy. Just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. And it's Adebayo with the ball for the Miami Heat. It's a one-point game. Passes it to Butler. Pass to Autobio. Six to shoot. And Autobio throws it down. Excellent pass from Butler right there. That's why he's considered a team leader. And Bleed on the wing. Takes the three. Some solid defense from Rogier. Miami leading by three. The kick outside to Butler. On the wing, Rogier. Shingun with the rebound. Shingun's got six rebounds in the game. With the drive and the dunk by Eason. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm, trying to send a message with that slam, I think. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. And it's on a bio in the corner. Hero against Thompson. And there's the call on Amen Thompson. That's his third foul of the game. First so for the Rockets. Jabari Smith, he's jacked in for Tari Eason. And Jalen Green subbed in for Thompson. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Well, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Pulls up from the corner. Smith, no good. Hero against Green. Hero passes to Rogier. Takes it inside. Oh, he misses the dunk. Yeah, you, you won't see him miss many dunks unless you've got somebody right in his face, as was the case there on that possession. Boy, he has to put that one away. A solid opportunity gone awry. Here's Hero. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Now it's a six-point heat lead. And this is why many are high on Hero. Possesses ability to kick it up a notch and just take over. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. A three-pointer is right on target. 
and a legitimate threat to connect from deep. Harrell doesn't lack confidence trying his luck from there. Green hits the outside fadeaway. You know, next time he has that much space, he should just go straight up with it and leave the fadeaway at home. Park that fadeaway, take the shot that's available. Butler kicks to Hero. Pass to Rogier. And the Heat call time here. They're up by seven. 107 left in the fourth quarter. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? During that break, Eric Spolster had some words for his team. He told his players, I love the energy right now. You look like you're having fun out there. Keep playing for each other because our chemistry looks great right now. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And not sure they've got enough time to save themselves. It doesn't look good, even with a quick bucket here. For three, Smith. It drops. And now they trail by just four. Oh, boy. Looks like he was injured there. And that's the one thing you just really can't control or even guard against. And that's it. Yeah, you know, aside from some of the player protection rules, which have been of benefit, a lot of it just comes down to what the body can withstand. And Miami making a change here. Robinson's checked in. Absolutely fearless is scary, Terry. Nothing holding this guy back in the big moments. It's as though Green always has more left in his tank. He digs deep and finds the bucket. The kick out to Rozier. And the rejection by Smith. No time to waste on this possession. Got to go right up with it and then foul immediately. It's good. And he has brought them to within two points. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one, too. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. I don't think you want to get loose and sloppy or ease up, but it is time for them to start using that clock a bit. Rozier looking around.
games ahead, but game one of the regular season is always a little extra special, Graham. Yeah, no question about it. This is a game everyone looks forward to to start the season off on the right foot. I can't tell you how huge it is for a team's confidence to get a win on opening night, but it's definitely one everyone is looking forward to. Here are the starters for Houston. Thompson out there with Fred Van Vliet. Then it's Tari Eason. Then there's Alperon Shangoon. And it's Brooks in at the small forward position. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. You know, when it comes to Fred Van Vliet, he's clearly someone not afraid of the moment, Doris. B.A., he relishes the opportunity to make big shots in the clutch. And the guy has got the steady temperament that allows his teammates to trust him. Well, Grant, the Rockets finished at the bottom of the Western Conference for three straight seasons and got some high draft picks as a result. NBA, no one likes losing, but Houston has to be happy with the talented young prospects they've been able to select. It'll be interesting to watch their growth as individuals and as a team. Three-pointer. That's good from Eason on the assist by Thompson. Already an intelligent playmaker, Thompson moves the ball well for a rookie. Randall finds DiVincenzo. Robinson, a screen on Thompson. To the middle. Robinson gets the bucket. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Here's Brunson. Banked it in off the glass. Yeah, don't be fooled by the height, guys. Brunson is a terrific finisher inside. Brooks with it. And it's Brunson picking him up. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. It's going to be on OG Ananobi. Grant, there is some magic here in New York. One of the best home court advantages in the NBA. Well, B.A., you have to think about the history of this building. It's incredible. I mean, when the Knicks are playing even remotely well, this place is rocking. How about this, guys? Only the fifth undrafted player in NBA history to be named an All-Star. What you love is Fred Van Vliet every year has improved. He's fearless. He's tough. There's nothing not to like. Now here's Randall. Hits the three-pointer. Uh, credit Julius Randall. Off-season preparation trying to build the three-point range. Pass to Van Vliet. And here's Shangun. From the arc. Second chance effort. And he lays it up and in. You simply must put a body on this guy. You know he's going to try to get to that glass. Brunson passes to Randall. Easton with a steal. Fast break. Here come the Rockets. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Randall. And we've got a moment to look at the rebounding trend over the last few months for Josh Hart. What a nice trend has been for him in regards to rebounding. He's been attacking the glass these past few months. His numbers are way higher, and that makes him a more effective all-around contributor. And the basket by Van Vliet. Now you see the wherewithal of Fred Van Vliet. Finds the soft spot in the defense and converts. DiVincenzo, pass to Robinson. Shane Goon with a steal. Thompson outside. Back to Eason. Pass to Thompson. Baseline try. Here's Van Vliet. Back to Eason. Remaining in the first. And there's the drive. Now here's Shangun. Good work defensively by Robinson. Boy, surprise team missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. DiVincenzo finds Brunson. Here's Randall, defended by Eason. Robinson, a screen on Eason. Shot clock at six. And it's Randall with the jam. Wow, Julius Randall getting downhill and leaves no doubt. Van Fleet, pass to Shingun. Now Easton, checked by Randall. Shangun, a screen on Randall. And it's Easton penetrating. It's Easton with the jam. And just a great screen. And they got a high-powered finish out of it. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. 
Now here's Ananobi. Right side, Brunson. And he drops it in from the low post. Boy, you love what this guy is doing right now. He's taking smart shots, shooting a high percentage, starting to cook. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Well, you love the unselfishness of Fred Van Vliet. This guy is so good recognizing when his teammates are open. Here's Brunson outside. And the Knicks, another three. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Rockets lead, 17. Here's Easton. It's Easton with the jam. Mm, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Right side, DiVincenzo. Yes, and a nice assist from Brunson. That's just outstanding floor awareness from Jalen Brunson. It doesn't matter if he's at the one or the two. He always makes the right play. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Shangun finds Brooks. Shangun, a screen on Ananobi. Three-pointer, Brooks. The Knicks with the rebound. Pass to Ananobi. Oh, Brooks with the steal. And here we go, the Rockets in transition. Three-pointer Van Vliet sends it home from three-point land. Van Vliet's got nine points. Well, because of his high basketball IQ, Fred Van Vliet understands catch and shoot. I'm shot ready. Jumper in. Fred Van Vliet has been on display for Houston. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for Houston. Yeah, they're just attacking on defense. Getting those hands out and knocking the ball free. I really like their energy defensively. You know, also, they've been incredible on the fast break. Taking those chances, playing with great pace. This is how the floor looks for the Rockets, starting the second. We've got Green, Jabari Smith out there with Steven Adams. Then there's Whitmore, and it's Holiday in at the one. Grant, your first year in the league, 1995, the Houston Rockets were NBA champs. Oh, B.A., I mean, Hakeem Dream made facing that team a nightmare. He was everywhere defensively, long and quick on his feet. That 95 Houston team was incredible. Adams a screen. Here's the three. Smith no good. New York has gone four of six from three-point range thus far. Achua passes to Hartenstein. Takes it inside. Outside Bogdanovich. Houston foul. Nick Moore. First personal foul. First team foul. Quarter number two and about a minute in. Six to shoot. And that misses. That would have put him up. Houston in the lead. Here's Whitmore outside. Sinks it from distance. Oh, good recognition from Smith Jr. Now, sensing the defense over commitment and punishing them for it. Here's Bogdanovich. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. After years of dynasties and predictable NBA Finals matchups, Doris, we've now entered an era of unprecedented parity. We have B.A., and it's an interesting situation for the league because what they've done to redistribute the talent is try to implement rules that prohibit those trios of stars from dominating the action as we have seen in the past. It's led to more interest. It's led to higher television ratings. I think it's appropriate. Here's Smith. It's deflected. Outside Bogdanovich. Driving to the basket. And then Bogdanovich with the dunk. I think it's obvious that Bogdanovich has worked on his ability to handle the basketball. Really good control there. Here's Green. Oh, Green just explodes to the rim. I just love the aggressive finish. Now, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. To the inside. Hardenstein passes to Achua. To the right side. Here's McBride. He's covered by Holiday. Bogdanovich on the wing. Over Whitmore. That one a little long. The Rockets have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. No good from outside. New York has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Pass to McBride. 
Here's Hardenstein. Here's McBride. Outside Bogdanovich. Ooh, stolen by Smith. Back comes Houston in transition. Here's Whitmore outside. Carries it. He's two for four in this game. He's a potent mix of effort and ability. Hard to shut down a player of his caliber. And then Bogdanovich with the dunk. Well, deceptive speed to me on that drive. Bogdanovich able to slice through the defense. Pass to Smith. Takes a three. And this is again now 0 for 3. The Knicks have gone 3 of 5 since the beginning of the second. Back to Achua. Hey, puts up a three. On target from range. Now just a two-point Houston lead. Well, how about the court awareness from Bogdanovich showing off his ability to find the open man cap? Boy, that foul looked intentional. Not exactly what you'd expect here. Yeah, no, it just doesn't make sense given the situation. A new lineup here for New York. First team foul. Substitution. Green with the ball. And he drives in. Green bustling his way in. This is Green at his best. Electric off the bounce. And <laughs> a great, great finisher. Let's go with a three. Brunson misses. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Smith passes to Holiday. Back to Smith. Fires from deep. Here's Adams. Outside for Green. Outside Holiday. On the wing, Green. Four on the clock. Tries yet again. It's hauled in by Robinson. Robinson's got his fourth rebound in this one. DiVincenzo finds Brunson. Back to DiVincenzo. The kick out to Brunson. Outside, DiVincenzo. From outside the arc. Oh, my. Came close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. You know, not the smartest play a defender can make there. At the line. And he sinks the second. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter. And is getting them to the free throw line. And he nails the third. DiVincenzo with a steal. Randall outside. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. Put your hands together and get round for Red Panda. Hey, folks. Getting in. Excellent first half, scoring the ball, doing it efficiently. Dare I say, like one Shaquille O'Neal. Well, of course you shot. And now, the moment we've all... That does it for halftime. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Man, one guy's been getting it done, Fred Van Vliet. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. Randall and Robinson of the tandem inside. Dante DiVincenzo out there with Jalen Brunson, and it's Ananobi in at the three spot. That's Tom Thibodeau's five as we get going in the second half. That's right. You see there, Thompson does a good job of sneaking into the lane and finishing. You know, Doris, looking at this current Knicks team, you think they are poised for a big run? Well, if you look back at their history, the Knicks have had a lot of players pass their prime. This version of the Knicks is a lot younger, and I like what they've done with their roster. So, are they poised for a big run? We'll see. And Dante DiVincenzo is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. First team foul. Outside Eason. There's the drive. It's Eason with the jam. A bit undersized. His hops make him a legit small ball four. Here's DiVincenzo. Oh, he goes up high for the two-handed slam. 
Boy, how about the awareness from the big man? We think of Mr. Robinson as a shot blocker. What a pretty pass. Stolen by Ananobi. Brunson surveys. Randall is screen on Van Vliet. The three-pointer is down. Jalen Brunson. Great play calling, great execution. Leads to four for four to start this game. Yeah, watch out. I mean, there's a nasty streak there to Brooks's game. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the Knicks. Two-point game. DiVincenzo can't hit. And that's their first miss after hitting four in a row to start the half. And that one's good for Brooks. Brooks. Six lead changes in a game that has a lot of character. Yeah, both sides stepping up and making big plays. And it's going to be out of bounds. New York bounds. will have another go. New York ball. All right, a moment now to bring up last season's top rebounding teams. In the third spot, the Knicks. The fourth spot held by the Rockets. And both of these teams really impressed when it came to rebounding the ball last year. That level of physicality and hustle is always great to see. So New York ends up going with a whole new group. Pass to McBride. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And the Knicks lead by one. Soft interior D. And they've exploited it. Timeout call. Houston. And it's a completely new group for the Rockets. Houston is gone. Only one of three from deep here in the third. And here's Smith. Making us move nightly. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. There's the steal. Here's McBride. He's covered by Holiday. Adams against Achua. Pass to McBride. Clock at six. Here's Bogdanovich. Smith with the rebound. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. He buries it from three. Holiday's got himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Well, credit him for going for it, not settling, saying, I'm going to attack. Inside. Here's Adams. Outside Holiday. against Burks. Pass to Whitmore. For three, Smith. No good there. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. Great positioning on the putback. Bogdanovich has got 10 points in the game. Well, that's about hustle and effort from Bogdanovich. To go after the rebound with that kind of intention is exactly what you hope for as a coach. Holiday against Achua. Outside, Green. No stops him there! Jams it in, and he's fouled! An opportunity in a three-point play! Precious Achua picks one up. Free throw no good for Green. Well, just two playoff appearances for the Knicks in the last decade, but two in three seasons for Tom Thibodeau. And B.A., I think you can certainly say in two of those three seasons, this is an organization and a team that exceeded expectation. And now you have pieces like Mitchell Robinson, the young big who is such a presence at the rim, and Jalen Brunson triggering all the action from the point guard position. Boy, you add another piece or two, and look out for the New York Knicks. Another lead change. Give these teams credit. They're really fighting it out. Neither team willing to give an inch and neither able to seize the momentum. This has been a fascinating one to watch. First personal foul. First team foul. Substitution on the court. We've got 22 seconds left in the third quarter. DiVincenzo, pass to Ananobi. To the wing, right side. Here's Brunson driving in and give him another one. He's six of eight and looking solid. Jalen Brunson right now attacking without hesitation. His foot is on the gas pedal. Outside Holiday. Here's Adams. That's the end of the third, and it's tied up. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. 
Woo, I'm fired up to see this dish one more time. It's always great to see your two guards share the wealth. You love the unselfishness, finding the best look, and it doesn't matter who's taking it. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. The fourth quarter on the court for the Rockets. We've got Alperon Shangun. Dylan Brooks is out there with Tari Eason. Then it's Thompson, and it's Van Vliet in at the point. Van Vliet against Brunson. Randall, the pass to Brunson. Back to Randall. Five to shoot. Let's the three fly. It's rebounded by Shangun. Shangun's got rebound number five here tonight. Pass to Van Vliet. The shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. And now it's a four-point rocket lead. And something you'd never like to see, but guys, he definitely looks hurt. And man, this really doesn't look good. Just the way it happened. Boy, it's got to be so frustrating for him. As hard as he has worked, doing everything he can to help his team, just heartbreaking. Milton's checked in for Jalen Brunson. Three-pointer, Van Vliet nails it from three. And the Rockets lead by seven. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle staff for the Rockets. Yeah, they've collected an impressive number of steals so far, using fast hands to force some turnovers and then scoring on the other end. I think one of the things that also strikes me is their activity, forcing turnovers, coming up with steals. It has really shaped the tenor of this game. Outside Robinson. Pass to DiVincenzo. Robinson, a screen on Thompson. The three, DiVincenzo. On the wing, Milton. Tipped away. Six on the shot clock. Randall, good. Such a tough proposition, guarding Julius Randall in that area. This guy is capable on the interior. 52. And there's Thompson on the assist by Van Vliet. Thompson's gotten four this quarter. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Ananobi passes to Randall. Robinson finds some space. Another one falls for New York. This is about the extent of Mitchell Robinson's game. But boy, he's putting in work in the mid-range. Up top, Thompson. Pass to Easton. Back to Thompson. Oh, and the jam by Thompson. That's unreal. I mean, Thompson, that boy's going to hit his head on the rim one day. Oh, oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Third man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. That's good for Milton. Shake Milton at the lock. Milton hits them both. The Rockets have gotten all six shots to fall in the fourth quarter. Here's Thompson driving inside. Oh, and the jam by Thompson. Tough to slow Thompson down when he's got what? a lane to the rim like that. Alperon Shenvey. First personal foul. Second team foul. If you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Kicks it out to Ananobi. Oh, Brooks with the steal. The over and back call always avoidable. Right. It doesn't happen often. It's kind of a silly mistake. We'll see if they can make up for it on the defensive end. New York trailing. We're in the final quarter play here. Three minutes in. Milton for three. Rockets with a rebound. Shangun's got six rebounds now in the game. The open shot by Van Vliet. Yes. And a nice assist from Thompson. Thompson's got four assists now tonight. To Ananobi. With the drive. That one's good for two. Ananobi's got four points this quarter. Yeah, Julius Randall has a good feel on the offensive end. On time and on target with the pass. Easton, screen on Milton. And the basket by Van Vliet. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. They get it back. Outside for Randall. Here's Milton. Boy, they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but still coming up empty. 
Brooks, the pass to Thompson. Van Vliet outside. Pass to Eason. Milton with a steal. Now here's Randall. The deep three. It's rebounded by Shangoon. Nothing left to do but to watch the clock tick towards zero. Nice victory here for the Rockets. You love how they push the ball at every opportunity. Yeah, they really dictated the pace, and it really paid off. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. They were well prepared coming in and showed a real competitive streak. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Fred Van Vliet. Efficient productivity. You love what this guy has given to you on the offensive end. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. And an OB on the take. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Oh, give it to him at the rim, OG Ananobi. That's power athleticism. Beautifully done. Van Vliet against Milton. Now Van Vliet.
Years over the past months for Josh Hart. What a great trend it's been for him in terms of his rebounding. He, he's been getting after it on the glass these past few months. His numbers are way up, and that makes him so much more effective as an all-around contributor. So the opening lineup for the Heat, the wingman, it's Hero and Butler. Butler. Then there's Terry Rozier. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Jovich in at the fourth. When you look at this Knicks roster, Greg, this is a team that feels it can make a deep playoff push. And they have their stars. They have tons of young talent. Developing that talent and adding a piece or two should get them where they want to go. Looking at the Knicks, they took the win in their last game against Chicago. Robinson finds Brunson. Fires the three. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. First team foul. If you're a basketball player, for your entire basketball life, you're going to hear coaches harp on you about free throws. It seems like Brunson has heard those messages loud and clear. And we know they like having Brunson out there, Greg, a player they can run the entire offense through. No doubt. And he can be trusted on to take the keys and just run things effectively. He keeps mistakes to a minimum, and he's a solid creator for his teammates. Now here's Brunson. After Tyler, Heroes miss. Even Chenzo passes to Robinson. And such a nice move to make the basket work. And sometimes the simplest play is the best one. DiVincenzo made it. And Jovic gets it to go. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Now here's DiVincenzo. Turned in an outstanding game against Chicago. Shot clock at six. Brunson goes in. Crossed up the D perfectly. Brunson's got five now. Oh, great move there from Jalen Brunson. Flashy. Here's Rozier, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. Gives the team such a great element, having a one guard who can get to the 10. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. I'd like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. This is a solid opening quarter right here. Very active and creating a lot of good opportunities for himself. Hero from long range. Robinson pulls it in. Next have gone three or five, shooting the ball so far. And Ananobi, here we go. Randall kicks to Brunson. That's in, coming off an assist from Randall. That's 10 points here for Jalen Brunson. Well, you gotta respect Brunson if he's gonna knock down threes like that. And that one, good. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. That's to Brunson. Hey, Brent, what an exciting day we have for us here. Day one of the regular season is upon us, and we are ready to go. Kevin, really stoked to be with you here tonight. You could not ask for a better matchup. Energy is palpable, and it's fair to expect both of these teams are going to bring it. Here's Jovic. He's defended by Randall. And Jovic gets it to go. Jovic has got his second best. A good job by Tyler just finding the open teammate and showing some good awareness. Robinson passes to Brunson. Even Genzo against Hero. And he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. Who doesn't love to see David take on Goliath? Their huge throwdown. Rogier for three. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Brunson kicks to Robinson. Robinson sets a screen for DiVincenzo. A screen dunk by Robinson. Robinson is very fluid as a big, and he comes off that pick ready to shoot. Here's Jovic. Passes it to Rogier. Here's Jovic. He's defended by Randall. Good ball movement here by the Heat. Here's Butler. Oh, and the jam by Butler. Jimmy's such a well-conditioned athlete using that vertical he has to get up and throw it down. Rozier against Brunson. Pass to DiVincenzo. Back 
to Brunson. Up and in on the way. Brunson's got 14. Yeah, that was the first straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Rozier kicks to Adebayo. All alone. Almost, but it rolls out. Nobody even close to him, and he can't believe he doesn't knock it down. It's Robinson that time on the assist by Ananobi. Six points for Mitchell Robinson. Offense, the order of the day as the first quarter comes to a close. It's... And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for New York. People say the mid-range shot is dying, but so far in this one, that has not been the case for this team. Let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get tapped, because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. So with Butler sitting on the bench, this is who Eric Spolster has on the floor. Light is out there with Robinson. And there's Bryant. Then it's Josh Richardson. And it's Hawkins in at the small fold. Total letdown by the D. Can't leave the bucket unprotected. Absolutely. And it attacks an easy two points onto the lead. Will not find a higher percentage opportunity than that. Man, what about Duncan Robinson, Brent, from undrafted to signing a $90 million contract? That's a nice path to be on, don't you think? Kevin, you got to admire Duncan Robinson taking advantage of his opportunities. Here's Richardson following the score by New York. Drills it from outside. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. Here's McBride. And it's off from three-point range. The Heat trail by five. Outside Robinson. Bryant finds Robinson. Here's Jaquez. Back to Bryant. To the inside. Richardson, that's a two-pointer. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Now, here's Burks. Still without a basket. Hartenstein passes to Achua. Looking for Bogdanovich, and he gets it there. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. And stolen by Achua. And now the Knicks on the break. Here's the pass to Hartenstein. The dish to Bogdanovich. Shoots it. It's hauled in by Richardson. He's going to be shaking his head on that one. Knows he missed an easy one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. Now Burks following the three-point attempt by Josh Richardson. Drives to the hoop. Burks kicks to Achua. Bogdanovich with a screen on Robinson. Achua, the dunk by Achua. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, why well, he settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. And here are the Heat now. The Knicks making the shot. The kick out to right. A three ball. He can't hit that time. And battling hard on the glass, they hold the advantage here so far. Well, it doesn't seem to matter, Brent, who they bring in. Everyone seems to fit in this system in Miami. Well, their identification process and their scouting, they do a fantastic job of putting guys in here who are hungry to go about their business. So it's a nice mix. You have young guys, you have veterans, and then they have the right star to follow. And a whole new group out on the floor right now for the Knicks. And a new group getting ready for Miami. The Heat shooting their first free throw of the night. And with the big collisions we see in the paint, and Greg, there are some. Some have argued for changing the charge rule. Could you see that? And you know, there's talk of extending the restricted area. I've even heard some say ban charges Can by health defenders. Now, I like the former idea. That seems less extreme. Here's Adebayo. 
Jalen Brunson picking up that last basket. Rozier looking around. Pass to Jovic. He takes it in. It's rebounded by Ananobi. The Knicks leading by eight. Kicks to Robinson. And finished off by Robinson. That's exactly what you expect. Mitchell Robinson within three feet. That's two points. Passes to Rozier. This one for three. Miami no good on that time either. The Knicks have gone six of eight from the field in the second quarter. On deep, Brunson. Miami grabs the miss. There's 31 seconds left to play in the first half. Hero from long range. And his third shot of the night. No good. 0 for 3. Ananobi passes to Robinson. Here's DiVincenzo. The teardrop falls in. DiVincenzo's got the lead up to 12 now for New York. Oh, man, that's a nice teardrop. I mean, hand out some tissues, why don't you, Dante? Adebayo with a screen for Rogier. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Rogier's got five points so far. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. They need to see him give up in that situation. And so we conclude the first five. Right, thank you, David. Folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. The Heat, 27. When I look at Miami, game two will be at the crib at home. But not tonight. They're on the road. They want to start off the... Shifting focus now to that first half we just watched. A grueling game so far for the Miami Heat. Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Harlan for the start. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You know, Jalen Brunson has been exceptional here, guys. Wow! Really impressed with the shot selection through the first half, just taking what he can get from the defense. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half. I'm wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. Randall will step in at the four with Robinson as the center. Jalen Brunson out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's on an OB in at the three slot. So that's who Tom Thibodeau starts the second half with. Here's Jovic. Here's Rozier. <laughs> Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's on Jalen Brunson. And Rozier is not one to be afraid to take things into his own hands. He'll get inside and get physical when he has to, even if it means taking on the contact. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Rozier, the best to Butler. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Hey, you look how Jimmy Butler stays committed on that play, ready to overcome the Jimmy defender Butler. and still take the shot. And so Butler nails both of them. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the New York Knicks. They've held a 12-point lead early. Randall kicks to DiVincenzo. Driving the lane and a strong finish with two hands. And T. Vincenzo with a head of steam. Man, he got up. The kick outside to Butler. And shot on the way. That's good. And it's Rogier with the assist. Rogier's got three assists now in this one. We always see Terry Rogier going all out, don't we, Greg, to make an impact offensively. Kevin, I just love the way his offensive repertoire has evolved over the years. This guy came in as just a hard-nosed, tough defender, but boy, offensively, his skill set and development on that end is off the charts. The shot by Autobio, no good. 
they have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thanks very much, Kevin. Now, in recent years, the league has flattened the lottery odds and created the play-in tournament to keep more teams motivated. Commissioner Adam Silver knows some teams are in a development phase, but doesn't want to see maneuvering for better draft picks. He says teams are smarter, they're creative, and they respond. We move, they move. Kevin? Just like that. D.A., thank you. Here's Butler following the score by New York. No good on the shot. Good D by Ananobi. Ooh, this is turning into a slow start here in the second half. Seems like they left that offense in the locker room. Robinson against Adebayo. Pass to Ananobi. New York needs to get off a shot. And here we go. Butler heading to the hoop. And slam dunk by Butler. Yeah, Jimmy Butler is in the zone, and he keeps finding shots. Outside for Robinson. New York moving it around. On T. Brunson. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. The Heat trail by 12. Down low, here's Butler, and slam dunk by Butler. From oh, that's a major league throwdown. Keeps a tight grip on that rim, too, after the finish. And so New York calls timeout. They're first. And the Heat going with the whole new group on the floor. 144 left to play in the third. Here's Hartenstein, guarded by Wright. Six to shoot. Bogdanovich passes to Hartenstein. Outside Bogdanovich. Offline with his three. The Heat have gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. In the corner, right with it. There's the steal. And a fast break now for New York. Moving it up. Here's a chew up. Some solid defense from Robinson. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. And he drives in, and the lead is down inside single digits. Robinson's got five points so far. Here's McBride, guarded by Wright. And that kind of sums up how this game is going. Uh-huh. Attack-minded all the way. Yeah, great read. Calls his own number and then sends it home. Now, here's Richardson. And there's the pass to Hawkes. Richardson with the screen on Bogdanovich. Into the lane. Hawkes with the bucket. Seven points in the game. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. To the paint, here's Bogdanovich. Yeah, that's a tough call right there, and, and really a tough break for the game. First team foul. First team foul. Here's Bogdanovich. To the middle, here's Hartenstein. You can see the coaching staff trusts Bogdanovich. They're confident that he's going to make the right play. Right, the pass to Hawkes. Outside Robinson. Puts up a three. Good on the triple. Robinson. Robinson's got five points in the quarter. Even though they're still trailing, he continues to be lights out from the field. What a competitor. But if it goes, no good on the last second attempt there. And so it's the New York Knicks bringing the quarter to a close with. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard. Put the pass right on the money. So helpful to the offensive versatility when your bigs can create, freeing everybody up, and that cut was wide open. Thomas Bryant. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. So with Butler sitting on the bench, this is who Eric Spolster has on the floor. Duncan Robinson out there with Wright. Then it's Josh Richardson. Then it's Bryant. And it's Hawkes in at the three. Tyler Hero ready to pull the trigger at any time. Up top, Burks. Drops in the layup for two. And the Knicks lead by nine. 
and it won't find many more games as entertaining as this one. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. Outside Bogdanovich. And stolen by Butler. Ripped away. Bogdanovich passes to Hartenstein. Burks against Rogier with the step back. And Adebayo sends it back. Good defensive play. Adebayo on the inside, helping out his teammates. New York calls timeout. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Hey, Kevin, well, let's summarize what Tom Thibodeau went over with his guys during the break. He told them, don't look at the scoreboard. We have to play like we're tied. They want their team to sustain that level of effort. See how it works. Thanks, David. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. It's more and more comfortable the guys are when Bam has the ball and they cut. They know they're going to get it. Outside for Robinson. Back to Brunson. Robinson a screen on Rogier. Here's Brunson driving to the basket. That one finds the mark. It's the 10th time he's done that tonight on 14 shots. And here's Rozier. He brings it up for the Heat. A 12-point game. And Jovic gets it to go. Jovic can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. Rozier against Brunson. Near the three-point line is Steven Kenzo. That falls. Nice speed that time from Brunson. Brunson's got three assists now in this one. Butler against Ananobi. Butler passes to Autobio. And Autobio throws it down. Well, heady plays like that are what Jimmy Butler is all about. He knows where the defense is. Randall right side. New York moving it around. Rozier against Brunson. Pass to on and open. Shot clock at five. Pulls up on the wing. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. Adebayo's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Butler. Oh, and the jam by Butler. Defenders are trying to keep pace with Jimmy Butler, but there's enough space for him to spot the rim and knock it down. And Anobi finds Brunson. Two minutes. Two minutes. 157 left to play in the final quarter. No one near Randall as he lets it go. Nailed from three-point land. Randall's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. To the inside. Here's Otobio. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. A little special sauce from Otobio there. Elite ball handling for a big guy. Brunson draws the double. Inside, here's Robinson. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with the pass. And stolen by DiVincenzo. Passes it to Brunson. Pass to Ananobi. Now DiVincenzo. Jacks up a three. Count that as his seventh field goal, nine tries. He's shooting 78%. Sure, and total command of this game with time starting to run out. Yeah, looking for a miracle worker out there is the opposing coaching staff. I don't know that they have one. This game seems to be well in hand. And it looks like just playing the last bit of this one out in what should be a nice win here for the Knicks. You know, it's tough to put your finger on the deciding factor in this one, but I'd say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Yeah, I think you're on point, Kevin. They got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal percentage. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And not only are they on their way to winning this game, but this also gives them a win in the season series. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Jalen Brunson. So sharp on the passing tonight. You know, guys can get into a rhythm that way, too. It's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. 
and it's tough to mount a comeback like this and then fall oh so short. I'm sure that's weighing on them just a little bit. And so here is Miami following the score by New York. While they're passing to Jovic. That shot off the mark. Now Randall.
a feeling. Richard, what stood out to you about your first NBA game with the Nets? Look, I'm not going to brag and all, but did I come off the bench and get 12 points? Yes. Did we win the game? Yes. So, look, it was a good start for me, a humble beginning, but yeah, was, that, that's what stood out to me. I got double digits and we won. All right, now let's check out the starters for the Miami Heat. Hero and Butler make up the perimeter pair. Then it's Terry Rozier. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Jovic in at the four-man position. Picked by Smith. Van Vliet outside. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Heads up play by Smith. Giving it away instead of forcing something. Pass to Adebayo. This one for three. Eason pulls it in. And Brooks has got the ball here for the Rockets. Four-point game. Here's Smith. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. <laughs> Slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. But for the young Jabari Smith Jr., he's still finding his footing here in the league. Yeah, no one said playing in the NBA was easy. I don't care what pick you are. Smith has big expectations on his shoulders, Grant, but I think he's done a pretty good job so far. Three-pointer, Brooks. And a great assist by Van Vliet as that one goes. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Kicks it to Hero. Will it go? Knocks down the triple. Hero. Yeah, what an assertive Three move points. by Hero. Dropping an emphatic answer three. Here's Thompson. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Rogier against Van Vliet. Rogier, the pass to Adebayo. Oh, they get a hand on it. Easton with a steal. And here we go. The Rockets in transition. The three ball. And it's Brooks missing. Miami's gone one or two from three-point land so far. And there's the call on Tari Easton. That's his first foul of the game. First team foul. And it's the Heat with the ball. Trailing by eight. Credit the defensive effort there, not giving him room to operate. Brooks from outside. And no good. Some solid defense from Butler. For three. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. A guy you have to guard at range. Butler isn't a volume three-point shooter, but he can hit them when the mood strikes. Three-pointer Van Vliet. Jimmy Butler with a rebound. And so it's Butler who brings up the ball for Miami. And out of bio, the bucket on the assist by Rozier. And bouncing off defenders, Adebayo kept his eyes on the rim. Well, Grant, the pace that the Heat like to play is a little slower compared to other teams. Yeah, B.A., more methodical, definitely. They don't just jack up shots and run quick plays. They're very patient, and they look for the best scoring option. Now here's Hero. Back to Butler. Five on the clock. Stolen by Thompson. Pass to Van Vliet. Outside Eason. 4-3. Good. And Van Vliet gets the assist. Van Vliet's got his third assist of the night. And now we get a little perspective here on how the hustle game has been for Houston. From the very start of this game, they have been giving the ball handlers trouble, using good pressure to force turnovers and get steals. And they've done a tremendous job just creating havoc defensively. Active hands have led to tons of turnovers that they've capitalized on. It's Eason with the jam. Yeah, no question Van Vliet was going to find his man. He has excellent court vision. Rozier, the pass to Jovic. And the layup is good off the glass. Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. For three, Smith. It's rebounded by Jimmy Butler. Miami has gone two for three from outside the arc. Rozier, the pass to Jovic. And the Heat, another three. And the basket created by Rozier's pass, known to be a score first guard, but still, Terry is adept at finding teammates. They grab their own miss. Pass to Smith. 
from down in the low post. It goes. Smith's got six points. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Jovic. Hero for three. And the Heat. Another three. Back-to-back -back threes. Making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. To the inside. A nice shot by Smith. Give him eight points now. He's getting it done offensively, making winning plays at every turn. From downtown. Oh, his shooting remains on point. Three for four thus far. Yeah, absolutely no hesitation from Hero. He shoots at will from range. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Jabari Smith has been leading the charge for Houston. Eight points in the quarter, showing... If you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. All right, what do you think about the Rockets? You can really see the strategy coming in. Get the ball into the painted area. And let me tell you, when you establish a physical edge, it gives you a mental edge, too. They've got Whitmore, Aaron Holiday out there with Jalen Green. Then there's Jay Sean Tate, and it's Shangoon in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Rockets. Tate against Richardson. Pass to Robinson. On the take. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. Houston in the lead. Green, the pass to Holiday. Here's Whitmore. Robinson defending. Oh, there's a killer two-hand slam. An impressive athlete. This rookie Whitmore loves getting inside and hammering it home. Josh Richardson is a guy who helps you in a number of ways, RJ. Yeah, he can defend, pass, and shoot. Gives you veteran leadership. Valuable part of the rotation. First free throw is good. And Graham players often looking to exaggerate contact. You like the new idea to call text for flopping? You know, B.A., it's even better than the fines they did in the past and posting it online. I mean, with the tech, now it's hurting you on the court. So if you ask me, it's long overdue. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. Robinson finds Bryant. Fires for three. It's right on the wing. There's the three. Pure from three-point range. Wright's got his first three points of the game. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. And Holiday, here we go. And Holiday powers it home. His hang time on the rim puts a sweet cherry on top, B.A. It's a close game, and those displays of explosiveness can jumpstart a team. Now here's Robinson. Still without a bucket. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Basket counts. Now it's a five-point Houston lead. If the defense lets him inside, he will not hesitate. He'll gladly drop that thing right in the cup. Right against Holiday. For three, Robinson. Count it. And that shot gets him in the books. He's one for three. All five of the last buckets they've given up have been from downtown. It's Holiday with a drive. And Holiday powers it home. Making sure of it with the two-man slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. For three, Robinson. And the Heat, another three. He was inside his own head in that first quarter. You could see it. Now he's doing a much better job of letting the game come to him. Holiday against Wright. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First personal foul. It's going to go on Galan Wright. And Richard, this summer, the Rockets hitting fast forward on their rebuild, signing some key veterans. Headlined by all-star point guard Fred Van Fleet. He was a coveted free agent. Listen, with their upcoming draft pick not under their control, I think the front office figured may as well go after wins now. A line change here for Miami. Hero, no good. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. Oh, and the jam by Thompson. 
That's unreal. I mean, Thompson, that boy's going to hit his head on the roof one day. Oh. Butler on the wing. Brooks defending. Rozier from outside. Eason pulls it in. Eason's got four rebounds now. Oh, got a piece of it. Thompson against Hero. The three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Hero's got 12 points in the game. Another triple for him. His fourth of the night after that monster first quarter where he hit three of them. Puts up a deep three. Smith no good. Miami has gone four of seven from three during the second quarter. And out of bio slams it in. Yeah, a versatile player. Hero is terrific at sensing when his guys are open. Holiday looking for an opening. Pass to Brooks. Here's Adebayo. And Adebayo slams it in. And in terms of wings, Butler is one of the best passers. And that starts with Jimmy's team-first mindset. Holiday finds Smith. Down low. Here's Easton. Out to Thompson. Pass to Smith. Shot to stop the run. Adebayo grabs the board. Look, the defense was locked in on him there. They know how dangerous he can be, and they guard him. And there's the call on Tari Eason. That'll be a second foul of the game. Fred Van Vliet is checked in for Holiday. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Butler. That was an Okay, let's say that was an odd play. You don't see misconnections like that too often. Pass to Brooks. The 17-footer. And a great assist by Van Vliet as that one goes. Van Vliet's got his fifth assist in this one. Rogier, the pass to Adebayo. And here's Hero, defended by Thompson. Hero, no good. And the first half comes to a close in a tie game. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. 37. The heat. 37. Fans, put your hands together and get loud for Red. Some guys are taking the first open three they see. In fact, it doesn't even have to be an open three. That's why their field goal percentage is in. And switching things up just. And that's it for halftime. Thank you for joining. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. How about Tyler Hero displaying all of his skills today? Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. If they don't change their approach in the second half, and let's just say his success will continue. And let's take a look at Miami. Hero and Butler make up the perimeter pair. Then it's Bam out of bio. Then it's Terry Rozier. And it's Jovic in at the four. Wasted no time with that shot, but it's off the mark. Well, Grant, Amin Thompson is proof there are more routes than ever to get to the league. I mean, yeah, I mean, he and his twin brother, Asar, coming through overtime elite. A different path, but both high lottery picks, and it worked out for them both. And his eyes opened wide. Adebayo knew he had a chance to do something special. Well, that was clearly a foul. He's off on the first. For Houston, Asar. No good on the second free throw. Miami trailing. Hero on the wing. Defended by Thompson. And here's Butler outside. Kicks it to Hero. Pass to Jovic. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And Fleet, the pass to Smith. The Rockets with another miss. And so Adebayo will bring it up for the Heat. Now Butler. Rozier outside. Pass to Butler. 
Rozier against Van Vliet. Rozier, the pass to Butler. Clock at two. Let's it fly. With the second effort. And Adebayo finishes inside. Adebayo's got ten points in the game. From role player to all-star, Adebayo has made the leap. Why? Effort plays like that. Smith no good. And they have been cold coming out of the break. Only getting one of their first four shots to drop this half. Got to pick it up. Adebayo finds Rozier. Yes. And it's Adebayo picking up the assist. Now it's a four-point Miami lead. You have to appreciate Rozier's confidence. Ready to pull up as soon as he catches it. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Here's Jovic. Three corner Rozier. He drops it from range. Rozier's got six points in the quarter. And deadly from deep. Rozier making it happen from beyond the arc. Smith left side. Outside Easton. Pass to Van Vliet. Outside Easton. From the elbow. Rebounded by Jovic. Jovic has got six rebounds in the game. Gotta love how they've been crashing the boards. Fighting hard for every miss. Adebayo passes to Jovic. Here's Rozier. The ball's knocked loose. Oh, Brooks with the steal. And here we go. The Rockets in transition. And he parries the open three to cap the break. He's got 11. The three-point shooting has been on point here in the second half. And now they decide to foul intentionally. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. And it's a completely new group for the Rockets. For three, Robinson. Rockets with a rebound. the wing. Green. Robinson defending. And that's a foul. Called on the lawn right. That'll be a second foul of the game. We've got 123 left in the third quarter. The Heat have gone four of nine in the third quarter. Here's Richardson. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And here we have last season's best free throw shooting teams. Second, the Heat. They didn't give away any points at the free throw line. And that makes a head coach's life so much easier. Both good from the line that time. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line. And he's great at cashing them in. Whitmore. And out of bounds, the Heat will take it. Heat All right, a chance now to take a look at the steals over the last few months for Fred Van Vliet. And the defense he's played lately has really been tremendous. It's clear he's working his tail off on this end and collecting a number of steals as a result. You have to commend that type of effort. Back to right. On the wing, Richardson. Up top, Robinson. Green covering. Back to Robinson. Shot clock at five. It's rebounded by Shangoon. Just imagine if he was shooting better. The lead would be even bigger. Pass to Whitmore. The three is up. Gets the three ball to go. Whitmore's got eight. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. And he bangs it home with one hand. Back to the basics, unleashing the one-hand flush. Boy, he makes the basics look pretty outstanding, though, huh? <laughs> That's true. Only one man back on D. Here's Hawkins. And the big dunk at the end of the break. And it's energy like that on both ends of the floor that's got them out ahead. And Tate gets it to go. 16 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Wright finds Robinson. against Richardson. Back to Robinson. And the game's still closely contested as we end the third quarter. It's the Heat leading by... And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Talk about painting a magnificent picture with that, Don. 
Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. A lot of times a spectacular pass is more impressive than a spectacular shot. This is one of those times. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. We've got Green. Whitmore is out there with Jayshon Tate. Then there's Alperon Shangun. And it's Holiday in at the point guard position. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. Oh, deflected. Oh, stolen by Richardson. Miami calls timeout. Some timeouts you just know you're going to get yelled at. And with these turnovers, I'm going to tell you it's not going to be a very pleasant timeout. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Over that last break, I got a chance to hear what Eric Spolster said to the team. He told the team he has complete faith in them, saying, we're right there, now we just got to make that push and really take hold of the game. We can do that. To me, it looked like his players are on the same page with him. Guys, back to you. As always, Allie, we thank you. Changun, a screen on Robinson. Green for three. And it's Richardson with the rebound. The Heat with the lead. And here's Wright from the arc. Sinks the tray. They're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. Man, this has been a fun one, but look, who doesn't love a high scoring game? Pass to Holiday. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone now. Just five to shoot. Here's Whitmore. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got his third assist of the night. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive okay. fire right oh, there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. You can't lose a shooter like him on the court. The ball will find its way to him, and he will drill a three each time. Right up top. Fast break Miami. Finished off the break. And now an eight-point Miami lead. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for Miami. Great heads-up defensive play tonight, creating offensive opportunities for themselves by forcing deflections. Also, lots of hustle on the offensive end, following shots and creating tons of second-chance opportunities. For Miami, they've got all four shots to go in this final quarter. Here's Richardson, and that one is stuffed right through. Their offense is looking like a well-oiled machine, getting any look they want. Right about that. Seems like they haven't missed. And the Rockets going with a whole new group out there. For Houston, they've gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Substitution on the board. A three, Smith. Houston gets it back. Outside Eason. They need this. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Now, I know he makes it look easy, but it takes incredible physical tools to pull that off. Athleticism and explosion. Butler on the wing. Let's it go from deep. And the Heat, another three. Unselfish offense leads to Butler getting something in rhythm. Van Vliet, pass to Smith. The fader. The shot no good. The Heat have gotten all six shots to fall in the fourth quarter. And here's Butler outside. It's rebounded by Houston. 144 left in the fourth quarter here. Eason a screen on Rozier. Pass to Eason. The shake. Smith no good. And here's Adebayo. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. They lead by 11. Largest margin of the game. Houston now. Time running out. Thompson with it. Hero picks him up. For three, Smith. That one is off. Some solid defense from Butler. And this is a game they can build off of. They kept their focus all game long, and it will get marked as a win for the Heat. They were the more accurate club. And in the end, that made the difference, Grant. Yeah, B.A., you have to love their strategy. And even more, you love the execution. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. 
and they didn't deviate from their game plan against this team. It's what helped them win their first two games against them. Add another one to the win tally for them. And it was a reliably solid performance from one of their key guys. A tremendous game for Bam Adebayo. Honestly, I just love how relentless he is on the glass. Making a big effort to pull the ball in and give his teammates extra chances. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. All oh, road wins. They're just so sweet. They're just so sweet. you know why? Because they are so hard to come by. And down it goes. Two points. An all-star in this league. Van Vliet is such a talented player. Still can't believe he went undrafted. Rozier with it. So it's the Heat.
And of the NBA season, Greg is here. Does everyone get butterflies or is it just me? No, I'm, I'm right there with you, partner. It, the anticipation has been brewing for months. Nothing like open at night. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. Randall will step in at the four with Robinson as the center. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Ananobi in at the three. Now here's Brunson. And he really did play well against Chicago in that last game. It's Thompson off the drive. Banked in off the glass. And Thompson letting his athleticism take over there as he was bumped. Near the three-point line, it's DiVincenzo. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Van Vliet passes to Shengu. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Stolen by Robinson. And a fast break now for New York. And the wide open shot from DiVincenzo. Drops in the tray off the fast break. Sweet shooting from DiVincenzo. Really comfortable getting that shot up quickly. The offensive rebound. Kicks it out to Van Vliet. From deep, Brooks hangs home the trifecta. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Pass to Brunson. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Then one on Thompson. And Brunson, a very physical player. Someone that understands how to bait defenders into fouling him. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Pass to Eason. And the dunk by Eason. And not the prototype power forward, but he has tremendous athletic ability. DiVincenzo kicks to Robinson. That bucket in in no time at all. There's the unselfishness you like to see in a guard. DiVincenzo keeping his eyes up and his options open. Pass to Brooks. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. The pass to DiVincenzo. From past the arc, Eason grabs the board. Rockets have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. And the dunk by Eason. And great find by Van Vliet. He's in control of this offense and generally makes good decisions. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Here's Thompson. The Knicks making the shot. Rocketing off the deck. Thompson showing that youthful exuberance. On deep, Brunson off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Jalen Brunson. Rockets trail. Houston moving the ball around. Shingu, no good. Looking at the Knicks, they took the win in their last game against the Bulls. Fires from deep, and another three for New York. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting a pretty good result. Van Vliet kicks to Shengu. Robinson with the block. One-on-one -on -one here. Here's Brunson. Oh, and he pops it off the glass. Wow. Van Vliet outside. Back to Brooks. Shoots from 12. That ball. Great assist by Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got his fourth assist in this one. Robinson passes to Brunson. Robinson a screen on Van Vliet. On deep, Brunson. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. And you can tell Brunson has been well coached. He knows just when to call for that pick and roll. Van Vliet against Robinson. Shoots from the right block. Like at six. Here's Thompson, and Thompson throws it down. And he's got a rocket ship-like takeoff. Thompson can flat out fly. Brunson kicks to Randall. Knocked away. And stolen by Eason. 
fires for three. Robinson pulls it in. The Knicks leading by three. DiVincenzo with it. Picked up by Van Vliet. Trains the three-pointer. Randall's got five now. Yeah, you know, he's evolving his offense over time, Julius Randall. And I think the coaching staff is happy to see it. They like to see him take and make these shots. First personal really foul. no idea First why foul. you're fouling in a situation First like that. You know, maybe the there's some bad blood between those two. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And taking a look back at his performance at the line a year ago, a rock solid 79%. Well, Jalen Green is a product of G League Ignite. And clearly showing other folks there's a new path for potential lottery picks to take. Yeah, and he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that. He wants oh, to. you're right. Now. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised Jalen Brunson has been on display for the New York Knicks. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. We come back right after this. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. Let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for the Knicks. You know, right from the start, it seemed they got hot from three-point range, pulling apart the defense and racking up the points, too. And I really like how they've moved the ball tonight. Because of this selfless approach, they are piling up the assists. They've got Adams. Ridmore is out there with Smith. And it's Green, and it's Holiday, and at the point guard position. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Rockets. Here's a chew up. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. And the defense, no factor, which is why he simply laid it in. Smith sets the pick for Green. Pass to Smith, launches it. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. The Knicks leading by seven. Here's Burks. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. The knee just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Of course, one benefit that Jabari Smith has had in his career is the wisdom from his dad. He has learned a lot. No wisdom like a father's wisdom, particularly when a dad has traveled the road that his son is traveling in the NBA. I'm sure his dad learned a ton in his experience that he has passed on to Jabari Smith Jr. in a way that's benefited the younger Smith. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Pass to Achua. A dunk by Achua. Achua. Nice look there from Bogdanovich. The shooter keeping an eye peeled and open for the open man. Holiday dishes to Smith. Back to Holiday. Here's Green driving inside. And it's Green with the jam. Oh, Kevin, not a Petty, not a Manny, but a facial. Oh, a bounce to the ounce, Greg? Yeah, showing off the bunnies. He's a highlight reel, always on the launch pad. It's stolen by Green. And stolen by Bogdanovich. McBride passes to Burks. Pulls up. And again, it's New York. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive. And it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. To the paint. Here's Adams. And Adams with the slam. And that play is tailor-made for Adams. Not many guys set a better screen and then the quick roll off it to get the finish. Green, the pass to Smith. He dishes it to Adams. Back to Smith. Got a piece of it. Now, here's Burton's. And that one is good from Hartenstein. Hartenstein's got the lead up to nine now for New York. Smith dishes to Adams. Out to Smith. Back to Adams. And some nice passing there by Houston. Smith outside. 
misses the three. You know, he looks a little off kilter to me this quarter, still trying to find his rhythm. And McBride gets it to go. Assisted and it's an 11 point Knicks lead. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Five straight baskets resulting from assists. They're playing as one unit out there. Smith for three. It's rebounded by New York. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Hartenstein passes to Burks. Here's McBride, Adams defending, and there's the drive. Nice move. Passes it to Achua, and the officials call him for a three-second violation. And now let's take a moment to check out the stats for Green. Last year, getting it done. He put up about 22 points a game, three assists and three rebounds. And you talk about guys who just have a nose for putting up points. He is one of them. Yeah, he sure is. And he rarely has back-to-back -back bad games. If he has an off night, he usually follows that up with a big night. It's good from long range. And they may be leaning a little too heavy on the three-pointer when, when there are better looks to be had inside. Yeah, and it's one thing when your shots are falling from the perimeter. But when you go cold and things aren't going as well, You've got to get that thing inside. Mix it up a little bit. Six-second difference between shot and game play. Here's Thompson. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Brooks. Thompson's got eight. It helps that Thompson can score with either hand close to the bucket. Defenders can't force him to one side or the other. Buries the long-range jumper. Ball distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. Van Vliet kicks to Shangoon. Here's the three, and another three for Houston. Beautiful setup. You see right there, Alperon Shangun. This game isn't all about power. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the Tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Guys, it is symbolic of their effort here tonight. And we've reached halftime in this one. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. 44. Let's welcome Red Panda! Taking a look here at the Rockets, at this point you gotta take every team you're up against as a test. Asking yourself, what can we do? And now let's focus on our game. A strong first half for the New York Knicks. Watch out, y'all. We're in the split. Thanks for spending half... quarters in the books. Nice game. Great performance by Dante DiVincenzo. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively and nothing has slowed him down. Setting the four for the Knicks. Rando will step in at the four with Robinson as the center. Jalen Brunson out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Adenobi in at the three, the small forward. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Guys, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. And Greg, when things go crazy, coaches are often the first to go. But how often does that improve things? Sometimes it goes the opposite direction, Kevin. But the simple fact is it's usually easier to change the coach than it is to turn over the roster. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Van Vliet's got his second bucket tonight. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. Robinson left side. Brunson against Van Vliet. Brunson, good. Brunson's got ten points. And defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. The Knicks leading by nine. Outside Robinson. Here's Randall going inside. And then Randall slams it in. Going towards the basket, that's when Randall's most dangerous. 
Brooks against Ananobi. Stolen by Brunson. And here we go. The fast break. Brunson's got it. The pass to DiVincenzo. Back to Brunson. Brooks against Ananobi. Just five on the clock. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It goes on Dylan Brooks. And one of the big changes to college basketball, Clark, as you know, the NIL. Name, image, and likeness. It, it seems like that would impact the choice to enter the NBA draft. I don't think there's any question it's had that impact. Some guys that were borderline draft picks now not being penalized for being on scholarship can monetize their name, image, and likeness and do so to the tune of some fairly significant dollars in some cases. And even if the money is not NBA large, it still could close the gap for a family of a player that might be struggling and could use some additional income. Achua, the pass to Hartenstein. Here's McBride. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. McBride's got the lead up to 13 now for the Knicks. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working from hit inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Oh, that's a major league throwdown. Keeps a tight grip on that rim, too, after the finish. Maybe that'll help them recapture their edge a little bit, guys. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. A new lineup here for Houston. And a switcher also for New York. Bogdanovich has checked in. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Smith gets to Adams. This just a holiday. Adams sets the pick for holiday. Here he goes. Adams. And it's Adams on the follow. That's their third straight main off an assist. The shot's good from Achua. Achua. Achua's got eight points. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Let's it go with a three. And that one's good, Whitmore. Whitmore's got himself on the board with three there. Hey, Greg, here we are watching Cam Whitmore. What impresses you most about his game? Kevin, for me, I, I think it's his toughness. He's not afraid to get physical underneath the basket, and I really love how gritty he is on the D as well. Smith with a screen on Bogdanovich. For three... It's a hand on it, and Holiday is right there. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know, when you have that gentle touch, those tip-ins are easy to come by. But only if you grind hard enough to get yourself in tight before the shot goes up, guys. you got to get your work done before the shot is attempted. Achua, no good. Good offense squaring up against better D there. you got to appreciate that stop. And it's green. Missing. The Knicks leading by 11. Here's McBride. Here's Bogdanovich. Green with the rebound. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. And it's Isaiah Hartenstein with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. First team foul. Here's Whitmore. He kicks it to Holiday. Outside, Green. Three-pointer. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got four assists now tonight. Green, impressive range from deep. He knows how dangerous he can be from there. And so it's the... And while we can, now let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. Just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. They've got Smith. He's out there with Stephen Adams. Green is out there with Whitmore. And it's Holiday in a point guard. It's the five for Houston right now. Down low, here's Hartenstein. 
Bogdanovich left side. McBride passes to Bogdanovich. Six on the shot clock. Hits the three-point bomb. There he's showing you he can run the show himself in that pick and roll. It's a nice play from Bogdanovich. There's Green with the three. It's rebounded by New York. Hartenstein's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And, guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part, a huge component of winning games. It's not a glamour stat, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. It's trailed by eight. And a wide-open look for Whitmore. And it's Houston with another one. Good read from Green there. Getting better at sensing when his teammates are wide open and need the ball. And there's the shot to finish it off. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this one. There's Green with the three. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. Hartenstein's got six rebounds in the game. Back to Burks. Pass to Achua. Bogdanovich goes in. A shot by Burks. Nobody around. The rebound by Steven Adams. And here's Holiday who will bring it up for the Houston Rockets. Trailing here by eight. And it's Green missing. You know, he's just not taking good shots, not taking smart shots, forcing up a lot of low percentage jump there. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich has got five points now in the quarter. Now a timeout called by Houston. A new lineup here for Houston. And with an update from the sideline. Let's check in with David Aldrich. Well, during the break, I listened in on Ime Udoka's huddle. He said to his guys, we need to push the pace more. Come on, guys, we're at our best when we're attacking in transition. Energy up now. Back to you, All right, thank you, David. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five mates are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Oh, what a find. That, that ball just comes out of Brunson's hands on time. It'll go, and the New York leaders cut down now to just six points with that basket from Van Vliet. Here's DiVincenzo. Randall finds DiVincenzo. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Randall with a screen for DiVincenzo. Randall throws it down. Boy, what a throwdown by the well-built 6'9 Julius Randall with power. Stolen by Brunson. Now running up the court, Robinson pushing it up. Randall with the ball, picked up by Thompson. Here's Brunson, and he converts the layup. And now it's a 10-point Knicks lead. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Knicks. Really a great job in this one, forcing the issue defensively. Great quickness and discipline combined, making ball handlers very uncomfortable. And also, guys, they've been showing how dangerous they are in the open floor. When they see a chance to get easy points, boy, they just jump at it. Brunson scanning the floor. New York moving the ball around. A free for DiVincenzo. Sinks the three-pointer. And the Knicks lead by 13. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident, too, as a matter of fact. I mean, he's stacking up threes the way he is. I mean, he's doing all his work from behind the arc. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. And lead against Brunson. And another three for New York. Three and these are the types of games where one team clearly has the edge. Tonight, it will be a win by a large margin for the Knicks. Great, generous ball movement tonight. A thing of beauty. Yeah, a remarkable team effort. They got everyone involved. And it will go down as their first official win of the new year. And in the final game of this season series, they have to be happy earning the tiebreaker here, finishing up the year with a winning record of two games to one 
against the Rockets. Rockets. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And, and look at the stats. It just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Jalen Brunson. Well, I can't recall a play that he wasn't involved in. He was so involved in so many plays tonight. A force on both ends. There's the three. And DiVincenzo is good for three. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Van Vliet with it.
Opening day, Smitty. Every team is undefeated. I love it. Blue sky, a world of possibilities. You can feel the excitement, not just among the players, but the coaches and fans as well. And a look at the starters for the Knicks. Randall and Robinson are the tandem inside. Jalen Brunson is out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Ananobi in at the small forward. Now here's Rozier. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Phenomenal. And creating scoring opportunities for himself. Rozier with a merciless dribble move. Outside Robinson. Back to Brunson. Adebayo against Robinson. Randall outside. Shot clock at six. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. And the shot goes in. What a beautiful look. Randall continues to round out his game in the prime of his career. One thing about the Heat, Smitty, they always seem to turn castaways into contributors. You're right, B.A. So many undrafted players who've broken through in Miami. Credit the front office and coaching staff fighting and developing those diamonds in the rough. And Ananobi gets it to go. This is what you already like about OG Ananobi's game. Has a good feel for where to get his shots along the perimeter. Here's Rozier. Oh, wow. Wow. A second. Boom, he jams it straight down. This guy is putting on a clinic for the people. Man, I'm shocked. I can't believe he pulled that off in a real game. Here's Brunson. And a nice finish on the layup. Inside Brunson is pretty deadly. Just dropping his shot in. Butler with the ball. Hero for three. Offensive board. Out of bio. That's good. Yeah. Three for four now. I like the pace for them on offense. Pass to Randall. Back to Brunson. Shot from the wing. And DiVincenzo with the basket. On the assist from Brunson. They have really found a rhythm here early. Four for five to start this game. And it's Butler off the drive. Kicks it to Hero. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by Robinson. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Brunson passes to Randall. Back to Brunson. Into the lane. A soft touch off the glass. Brunson's gotten his second bucket. Now you see Brunson with that quick dribble. I mean, that is a nice play. Pass to Butler. First quarter of play, and we're about three minutes in. Rozier. Ooh, Robinson with a block. It's a three-on-three -three fast break. DiVincenzo finds Robinson. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. That one's off. Mitchell Robinson. Good on the second one. And so Adebayo will bring it up for Miami. They trail by six. Butler into the lane. Robinson with the block. And he gets it back. Oh, stolen by Ananobi. To the paint. To the middle. Here's Robinson. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Robinson's got his second basket on the night. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for the Knicks? They are making a statement so far on the defensive end. Sending shots away in incredible fashion. Loving the hustle. And something else I've noticed is how they've been able to cause turnovers and take advantage of them on the offensive end. Not wasting those extra chances at all. Well, some guys tend to shrink in big moments. Tyler Hero, not one of those guys. He believes in himself, and this team believes in him. Whether it's a timely three, drive to the bucket, draw and dish, Tyler Hero makes winning plays. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Man, that was fast. They're already up by double digits. This has been a beatdown right here, possibly over before it began. Now here's Hero. He had 25 points in his last game. 
Here's Jovic. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Some shooters get tunnel vision, but Tyler keeping his eyes up and his options open delivers a great pass. Nice shot by DiVincenzo. They're not wasting any time putting their stamp on this game. What a start. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. He's three or four now, looking real confident out the gate. Outside Robinson. Back to Brunson. Fades away. That one goes in. Brunson's got six. The lefty getting it to go. <laughs> Jalen Brunson once again. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. And so it's the New York Knicks with a nine-point cushion at the end of the And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. All right, guys, what's your take on the Knicks so far? Well, I'll tell you what, throughout the first, they did a great job of just running their offense. Credit the game plan coming in. They've identified the right matchups, and the execution is there. So on the floor for the Knicks, we've got Boyan Bogdanovich. Achua is out there with Isaiah Hartenstein. Then there's Alec Burks, and it's McBride in at point guard. Now here's Bogdanovich. Jacks up a three. And again, New York with the triple. Got to be up on Bondanovich. When you aren't, he catches and fires away. Right, pass to Bryant. Outside Robinson. Here's the screen by Bryant. From deep. That's good from Robinson. On the assist by Bryant. Robinson's got himself on the board with a three there. Here's McBride. Right with the board. Miami trailing. And we heard some coaches saying the league punishes retaliation. And that might even encourage players to instigate. Grant, you think he's got a point? You know, B.A., I think he does. I mean, if guys are creating a dust-up to try to get opposing star players thrown out, the officials cannot reward that. When your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to getting to the line. And it's right missing. Shut down. This is the way you play defense. This is how you protect the rim. Bogdanovich. Over to the wing. McBride passes to Bogdanovich. And it's going to be a three-second call. And a quick check now on the teams that led the league from the charity stripe a year ago. Miami in second. In today's game, you have to capitalize on every chance you get at the stripe. And this is a team that takes pride in their performance from the line. Right, the pass to Robinson. Outside Richardson. Miami, no good that time either. The Knicks with the lead. Pass to Hartenstein. Achua with it. Here's McBride. Robinson defending. Back to Achua. There's Bogdanovich with the three, bearing his second of three attempts. He came up dry offensively in the first, but looks like he's ready to turn it around. Right on the right side for three. Robinson, again, the heat misses. Great perimeter D. Gave a good shooter absolutely no room to operate. You know what you have to appreciate about Precious Achua? Just how active he is, Smitty. B.A., he's full of energy, and it's why his teammates love playing with him. Every minute he's on the floor, he gives it his all. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. Here's Burks. A strong finish under heavy pressure from the D. And the Knicks lead by 11. Miami has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. For three, Robinson drills it from deep. Robinson's got six points in the quarter. Consistent from three-point land. Duncan Robinson with incredible range. Pass to Hartenstein. Now here's Achua. Launches a three. And again, New York with the triple. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Going inside. 
Hartenstein pulls it in. New York has gone five of six from three-point land so far. Down low. Uses the glass on the layup. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Ugh, not good. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. And here are the Heat now. Following the bucket by the Knicks. Here's Richardson. He got a piece of it. They recover it. Bryant finds right. Off the mark there with a three. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Burke's no good. There was a mix up defensively. Left him all alone. He just couldn't hit it. Achua passes to McBride. Back to Achua. Burke's with it. Robinson defending. Burks against Robinson. Fade away. Here's Hardenstein. Another shot. And it's good on the lay-in. Hardenstein's gotten his first basket of the night. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. To stop the run. And too long on the shot. Man, coach is going to have a few words with him after that shot. And you know what? He knows it. You have to try to play within the system or you're going to come away with empty possessions. There's 21 seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. And the ball out of play. The Knicks will have it. Substitution on the court. And here's Brunson. Last game out, he had 40. And that's a foul called on DeLon Wright. That's his first foul of the game. Here's Brunson. 18 points separating these teams. That's the biggest lead of the game. Launches it. Miami grabs the miss. Rogier, right side. Just three on the clock. And the layup is good. Rogier's got nine. And what I love about Rogier is his fearlessness as a scorer. Inside, outside, in between. It doesn't matter. Boy unbugged out of it. All right, good stuff, Allie. And we'll get back to the action at the start of the third quarter. Yeah, looking at the score, there's a lot we can pick apart. But their perimeter defense, no communication. They're letting shooters run free. And next up on the dock. And that's a wrap on halftime. Thanks for And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Tell you one guy who's been getting it done is Boyan Bogdanovich. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. Hero and Butler make up the perimeter pair. Then it's Bam out of bio. Then it's Terry Rozier. And it's Jovic in at the four spot. That's the group for Eric Spolstra starting the second half. The shot by Butler, no good. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. And the shot's good. He's got five. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Adebayo with it. Randall's in his pocket. Adebayo passes to Jovic to the inside. DiVincenzo with the steal. And here we go, the Knicks in transition. Brunson misses. Brunson against Hero. Pass to Butler. Second half of basketball. Just over a minute played so far. The three is up. Robinson with the block. And he gets it back. Just four to shoot. The Heat need to get one up in a hurry. <laughs> no problems knocking that one down. Put the first three misses behind them and finally ended their third quarter drought. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got five rebounds in the game. As tough as they come, Jimmy Butler. What does he bring to this team, Smith? B.A. Hart and the way he competes out there, it is infectious. Jimmy challenges his teammates to raise their level of effort. And coaches, they love Jimmy Butler. Here's Ananobi. 
Following the bucket by the Heat. For three, DiVincenzo trains the triple. DiVincenzo's got nine. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Stolen by Ananobi. Pass to Brunson. Kicks it out to Ananobi. Takes the three. Basket is good. Oh, Off the assist from Brunson. This is one of the best aspects of Ananobi's game. Let someone else initiate. You finish the job. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Well, there will always be players looking to change teams, but Commissioner Silver said, quote, when a player asks to be moved, it has a ripple effect. Lots of other players are impacted by that as well. It's one of those issues that we intend to discuss and see if there are remedies for this. Brian, interesting to see what comes of those talks. Yeah, that is going to be interesting. All right, Allie, good stuff. And talking about Bam Adebayo, he's a guy that loves mixing it up on defense, Smitty. Yes, B.A., and that is what turned himself into a Defensive Player of the Year candidate. Bam's high activity is really contagious on this end. And it's the Heat with the ball. After the basket by New York, Hero with the bucket. A focused individual. Hero's not going to let a little contact affect his shot. Got a hand on it. Got a piece of it. The kick out to Brunson. This one for three. That shot off. The Heat have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Here's Adebayo. And Adebayo slams it in. His versatility and unselfishness is what makes Jimmy Butler such a talented passer. From Jimmy Butler. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Hero for three. Knocks it down from distance. Hero's got his second basket. And their perimeter shooting numbers have been up since the start of the second half. Randall outside. Brunson looks it over. Back to Randall. From deep. And Brunson with the bucket. On the assist from Randall. Randall's got five assists tonight. Here we go. His second bay from beyond the arc in the second half. After having no such luck in the first. Now here's Butler. Let's the three fly. Fires in the triple. Butler's got five points. There's Butler's competitive streak right back at you from distance. DiVincenzo finds Ananobi. Now Brunson. Here he goes. Lays it up and banks it in. Brunson's got ten points here in the second half. Throughout the evening, he's gotten to his spots, and the defense has not adjusted. On the attack, Hero, and he makes it. It's interesting. They definitely had more three-point attempts in the first half. Not sure why they went away from it. Randall, the pass to Brunson. Outside Ananobi. The three is up. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got six rebounds here tonight. Puts it up. The shot by Butler, no good. What I like, he hasn't stopped competing despite the off night. Brunson. And he drops in the layup off the glass. 18 points for him. And no matter how the D's coming at him tonight, Brunson has adapted. And that's what great scores do. They figure it out. And here we go, the Nixon transition. For three, DiVincenzo. Book it. Dante and it's Randall with the assist. Three. Randall's got his sixth assist of the night. That's just great court recognition there. He saw the D pack in the lane on the break, so he calmly rolls up and drained the transition three. And so it's the New York Knicks. They're feeling great. A 21-point lead. And, and a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. On the floor for New York, we've got Achua. He's out there with Boyan Bogdanovich. Alec Burks is out there with Isaiah Hartenstein. And it's McBride in at the point. Here's Jaquez. Achua with a rebound. Smooth sailing for New York. They lead by 24, their biggest margin. Oh, got that one up quick. 
really have to question the defensive effort on that possession. They are getting bare tonight with plays like that one, allowing too much space for a good shooter. Bryant, no good. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. <laughs> I just love the ball move. Miami has gotten six of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Richardson against Achua. Oh, a big finish with a one-handed jam. Josh Richardson with an athletic play at the rim. It's all about making sure you get a quality look. And that's one. Pass to Bogdanovich. Here's McBride. Back to Bogdanovich. Here's Hartenstein. Five to shoot. Achua finds Burks. The three is up. And the three-pointer goes. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Bryant outside. Pass to Hakez. Bryant a screen on Bogdanovich. Back to Bryant. And then Bryant with the dunk. One side of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. Works for three. Knocks down the long James. All five of the last buckets they've given up have been from downtown. And it's Richardson penetrating. On the wing, Bryant. Back to right. Fires from deep. It's rebounded by New York. Achua's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Burks. Outside Bogdanovich. And again, New York with the triple. They're really employing a deep range initiative here in the fourth, and it's working. Interesting approach coming down the stretch. Looking to rack up points in chunks. Back to right. Outside Robinson. 4-3. Gets the three to fall. Huge shot for the young fella. Robinson with a huge triple. McBride passes to Achua. Oh, stolen by Richardson. And here's the fast break for three. Robinson. Yes, sir. And it's Bryant picking up the assist. Robinson's got six in the quarter. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them Boy, down one I'm after Bogdanovich. another. Yeah, the defense has allowed him to get into a rhythm from there, and he's been relentless. For three, Robinson. It's rebounded by New York. Hardenstein's got nine rebounds now. Pass to Burks. And you look at the evolution of trade requests, Smitty. The pendulum has really swung. It has. I think you look back at the day, it was easier to make trades. But I think right now you definitely have to listen to guys who are taking up so much of your salary cap. If they don't want to be there, you got to try to find a way to get them and ship them out of town. And that's out of bounds. Miami will keep it. Well, the scoreboard tells you everything you need to know about this one. A great showing here for the Knicks. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. And they end up winning the season series. Always feels good to have that upper hand over an opponent. And what a huge performance it was for Boyan Bogdanovich. You know, he was flying around on both ends of the floor. Terrific energy and enthusiasm. And that rubbed off on his teammates. I thought he was a catalyst tonight. Hawkins, the pass to Robinson. Clock at six. Richardson goes in. Pass to Hawkins. Back to Bryant. The kick out to Richardson. Achua with a steal. Now here's Burks.
League's strongest backcourts tonight, and this is probably the kind of game that suits your taste. Am I right? <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it, Kevin. This game is going to come down to guard play. It's not just about the backcourt scoring. It's just as much about that strong perimeter defense. Here's the starting group for Houston. We've got Thompson. Tari Easton is out there with Smith. Then it's Fred Van Vliet, and it's Brooks, and at the small forward position. And great find by Van Vliet. He's in control of this offense and generally makes good decisions. Butler, and it's Butler with the jam. <laughs> Look at the handles. Gets through the D and then powers it home. Such a pretty move inside. Clark, how do you stop that? This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. And he's good on the three ball. And you can tell Tyler Hero has put some hours in shooting the rock. Well, when you talk about Tyler Hero, this is a guy that looks to get better every single season. Well, his focus should be just on improving his percentages. You know how versatile he is, but if he's able to become more efficient, wow, look out. Both free throws good from Smith. Taken third overall in 2022. Smith, instead of trying to take the league by storm, he was looking for ways to fit in within the system. And that's what coaches love about players like him. That's nice vision there. You see that pass, you make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Well, he have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. There's the drive. Jovic, no good. Rockets are gone. Two or three here to start out the game. For the three, Dylan Brooks, and that's good. Good use of the stop and pop there by Brooks, keeping his body under control. Hero, that's a two-pointer. It's good, only a few seconds into the shot clock. Hero's got five points so far. Easton gets a wide-open look. That ball's great assist by Van Vliet. You know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you like to start. Now, Hero... He's got five from outside the arc. Rebound by Smith. The Rockets have gone four or five from the field so far. Brooks with no one around. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. He doesn't take a lot of time to make up his mind. Brooks always thinking ahead, and he's in position before the pass is made. Hero on the wing. He's covered by Eason. Hero passes to Jovic. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Greg, everything they're doing is working right now. Good run they have going right now. The momentum is huge. And Thompson throws it down. Tenacious on the attack. Thompson is fantastic at finding lanes to the basket. There's the pick. Here's Hero. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First and a chance First for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for Houston. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. I wonder if pace and playing fast is something that they're being encouraged to do, because right now they feel like the faster team. And you have to appreciate the confidence. Van Vliet wastes no time shooting the rock when he is in that groove. Pass to Rozier. Here's Jovic. That's good. And it's Rozier with the assist. Jovic has got his second basket of the game. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter steal, but not who you want to leave open. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. And Adebayo throws it down. Well, heady plays like that are what Jimmy Butler is all about. He knows where the defense is. 106 left in the first quarter. Here's Smith. And Smith with the stop. And now how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Jovic passes to Autobio. And again, Miami with the triple. Adebayo saw the gap and just got right through it. Van Vliet kicks to Brooks. On the wing, Thompson. Shot 
from the wing. And Brooks gets it on the assist by Thompson. Brooks has got his third basket of the night right there. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Good ball movement here by Miami. It's more and more comfortable the guys are when Bam has the ball and they cut. They know they're going to get it. And it's Van Vliet with the ball for the Houston Rockets. Four-point game. Rozier finds zero. Now eight seconds separate in the two clocks. And the pass to Jovic. Three-pointer. Butler. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Smith's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Wow. Came this close to a four-point play. Led to the line for three. Three for This is his first chance at the line tonight. Last year, 90%. And he was right there among the best in the league with that percentage. And he nails the third. Rozier against Van Vliet. Pass to Jovic. Back to Rozier. And he uses the glass on the lane. And we continue to see Rozier taking on more responsibility offensively. Nice finish inside. It's been all about Dylan Brooks for the Rockets. He notched eight points. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And when you consider how the Rockets are doing, guys, what do you think? Well, they've been aggressive from the beginning, particularly on the offensive end. Well, if they wanted to start well, this would be it. They seized momentum right away, and they just didn't let it go in that quarter. So with Butler sitting on the bench, this is who Eric Spolster has on the floor. They've got Bryant. DeWan Wright is out there with Duncan Robinson. Then it's Josh Richardson, and it's Hawkins in at the three, the small forward. And that's some progression for Duncan Robinson, just being able to score off the bounce. There's Green with the three. It's rebounded by Bryant. Miami trailer. Fires away from outside. And so Miami again turning it over. And now let's take a moment to check out the stats for Green. Good season for him last year. He averaged 22 points a game, three assists, and three rebounds. And he led the charge when it came to scoring. Led the team. Yeah, he shot the lights out all year long from a variety of spots on the floor of that versatility. Count that bucket. Oh, not two. even thinking about it. When Green is catching and firing like that, you know he's feeling it. And we're starting the second quarter. About a minute gone. Back to Robinson. Shoots, and it's Miami with another. It is still early in the season, Greg. We'd, we'd like to think we have teams figured out, but but do we really? Not at all, Kevin. This is the time period where fan bases freak out because of records. There's still a lot of identity to be found with every team. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Passes it to Richardson. The tray. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Green finds Tate. Shangun with the ball. Back to Tate. Inside. And Shangun throws it down. And he just powered that one down. One of the game's top dunkers. The shot's good from Bryant. Bryant's got his first basket of the night. Guy doing some work on the inside. Nice soft touch from 10 feet and in. Pass to Tate. Let's the three fly. Hits the three-point bomb. Pretty much not a player in the league is going to pass up a shot like that. So much for the defense. Outside Robinson. Kicks it to right. Back to Robinson. Right looking around. It's Richardson on the wing. Five to shoot. A three. And it's Whitmore with the rebound. Outside Holiday. Outside Green. And stolen by Richardson. 
And here we go. Richardson heading to the hoop. So it's Richardson with the jam. Well, the fast hands of Richardson there. Always active on the defensive end, using his length and constantly prowling for steals. The shot's good from Bryant. I think the defense has more concerns out there on the floor. And they give him a good open look from the perimeter. Holiday, the pass to Tate. It's hauled in by Richardson. Those are chances. Almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. There's so much inside of Josh Richardson that is yet to be tapped into. An athletic shooting guard who can play both ends of the floor. Tires from deep. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. Now this story in the second quarter much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Tate, no good. And here are the Heat. They're on an 11-3 run right now. Here's Hockin. No good with the triple. Last game for the Rockets. They picked up the win against the Clippers in L.A. And Whitmore throws it down. And when he gets downhill, Whitmore is a force. Hawkins the pass to right. 51 seconds left in the first half. And Robinson wide open. He shoots. Connects from three-point range. Robinson's got the lead up to three now for the Heat. And here's Green outside. The rebound by Bryant. Is it getting cold in here? This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the Tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Green dishes to Holiday. The three. And it's Whitmore missing. Yeah, and a dangerous trend here as they're starting to live and die with outside jump. And right kicks to Bryant. Richardson outside. Two on the clock. And it's blocked. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Heat out front as they wrap up the second quarter with a massive 16-5 run. All right, David, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. The effort we've seen from the bench so far, it really helps to keep this kind of depth. Guys who can come in on the offense. And now let's take a moment. And that is... We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. The Heat leading by five. Taking a look at the Rockets. Smith is out there with Tari Eason. Then it's Thompson. Then there's Dylan Brooks, and it's Van Vliet into the point guard position. Here's Adebayo, and Adebayo throws it down. A little special sauce from Adebayo there, elite ball handling for a big guy. And the importance of Adebayo to this team cannot be overstated. Well, what they rely on most, Greg, we know is the defensive impact he's going to make. So selfless down there to throw his body around, block shots, get out and guard pick and rolls, and he does it so consistently for this squad. It gives them a chance to win every night because Bam's willing to do the dirty work. Hero against Van Vliet. Hero passes to Rogier. Six to shoot. Driving the lane. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. For Rozier to be effective, well, that's just what he has to do. Keep moving, don't sit back, and be passive. Out of bounds, Houston takes possession. While we have a chance, let's take a look at the teams that led the NBA in rebounding last season. The Rockets fourth. 
And you have to be impressed if you look at the rebounding numbers from last season. They ran a number of guys to the glass, which led to plenty of second chance opportunities. And here's Hero. He'll bring it up for the Heat. The shot by Butler. Nobody around. And again, Miami with the triple. They are on fire right now. That's four straight mates. He's in with it. Picked up by Hero. Van Vliet looking around. Looking to end the run. Shot is good. And the Heat's lead is cut down now to just nine in the bucket from Thompson. And Thompson letting his athleticism take over there as he was bumped. Here's Hero. Brooks grabs the board. From outside the arc, hits it to go from beyond the arc. Brooks has got 11 points. And now he's gone streaking where one leads to two, which leads to three. That's big trouble for the defense. Now the pass to Rogier. To the middle. Jovic passes to Hero. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. A moment to check out the numbers for Fred Van Vliet. Great showing for him last season. And his passing skills were on full display all year. He ranked among the top 15 in assists. And he sported some of the quickest hands in the league last year, putting him top three in steals. He was consistently all over the basketball. Brooks, the best to Smith. Pass to Van Vliet. To the paint. Here's Thompson. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. And now, just a four-point heat lead. GA, we've seen it over the last couple of years. The center position has come back into vogue. And, Kevin, we, we were seeing teams go small. Lots of fours. Even traditional threes play the five. But with MVP-level seasons from guys like Jokic and Embiid, the center isn't quite extinct yet. Smith kicks to Thompson. Van Vliet attacking. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Tyler Hero picks one up. And with his movement skills, Thompson routinely catches defenders out of position. And the Heat going with the whole new group on the floor. Houston with a big group substitution here. Shen Goon's checked in for Smith. Jay Shante comes in for Tari Easton. Jalen Green's checked in for Dylan Brooks. And Aaron Holliday's subbed in for Fred Van Vliet. And the wide open shot from Green. And he gets it to go from the high post. Green's got his second bucket of the game to go. Well, uh, they're getting stops. And they're attacking on the offense. Yeah, coaching staff probably loves this. Just grinding out defensive possessions, which is helping them get back into their offensive flow. The Rockets making a switch here. Whitmore is checked in. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Rockets trail by four. One ten left to play in the third. The adjustments they've made offensively, they're putting guys in a position now to succeed. Yeah, possessions is way more efficient, I think, here tonight. Taking smarter, better shots, moving the ball around. That's helped them get back in the ball game. Clearly a foul. Yeah, let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the Heat. Their accuracy in this one has just been on another level. I mean, the three ball keeps falling, and the defense just hasn't been able to run them off the line. Man, scoring off of turnovers is, is so helpful. I mean, you get easy opportunities at the rim. It devastates the opponent. They've done a great job tonight at converting on those chances. And we've seen some great scores come into the league, but Green looks elite, both the physical gifts and that fearless approach. He's off on the second. And they are shooting themselves in the foot here. They've lost their touch at the line. The percentage continues to drop from where it was in that first half. Richardson dishes to Bryant. Outside Robinson. And finish off by Bryant. Yeah, Duncan not only moves himself, he moves the ball quite well. Here's Holiday. Yes, that goes in. Holiday's got five points so far. Yeah, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. 
right the pass to Robinson. And the Heat, another three. That's his game right there. Robinson, one of the more deadly shooters in the NBA. Here's Green, and Green slams it in. And some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. Here's Jaquez. Green with the rebound. That concludes the third quarter. It continues to be an exciting neck-and-neck -neck game. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball and how about the perfect delivery. Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. So with Butler sitting on the bench, this is who Eric Spolster has on the floor. Duncan Robinson out there with Wright. And there's Bryant. Then there's Richardson. And it's Hawkeyes in at the small forward. And Cam Whitmore picks up the foul. That's his first foul. So the Rockets end up going with a whole new group. Ball's knocked loose. And stolen by Eason. And here we go with Thompson running it up the court. The feed to Smith to take the lead. Passes to Eason. Smith sets the pick for Eason. Shot clock at six. It's stolen by Adebayo. Here's Butler. And it's Butler with the jam. Well, on the attack, Jimmy Butler playing with that edge. Van Vliet passes to Eason. Butler with the steal. Up the floor. And it's Butler with the jam. And you've got to wonder just how big those points are going to be. A swing like that could decide the outcome. Eason finds Thompson. Going inside. Pass to Smith. Van Vliet with it. Rozier defending. Five on the clock. The deep three from Smith. They get the rebound. There's the pass to Eason. Smith in the posts. Adebayo on him. The drive by Thompson. They get a hand on it. Oh, no excuse for a guy of this caliber. You've got to finish that slam. Got to be a little embarrassed by that one. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. From Van. They double team Van Vliet. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Jump ball. Here's Jovic. He's covered by Thompson. Brooks against Buck. He drives in. And Butler giving you the full buffet of the things he can do. Smith, the pass to Eason. They need this. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. Miami leading by nine. Good ball movement here by Miami. Sweet move. And Adebayo throws it down. Yeah, letting it rip. We're just having fun right now. Yeah, some of these nights you got to enjoy yourself. Not too much at the expense of the other team, but right now this team is balling. Wow. Dylan Brooks off the bounce. Teammates are loving that. And Fred Van Vliet is going to pick up a foul. That is his first foul of the game. Second team foul. On the inbound. How's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. At this point, I don't know what you can do to slow this team down. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactic. Pass to Eason. No good from outside. And so Adebayo will bring it up for the Miami Heat. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. Right side, Butler over Brooks. A putback. It's good on the putback. Yeah, those possessions like zombies staying alive out there, courtesy of Bam Adebayo. For three, Smith. 
Van Vliet against Rogier. Van Vliet passes to Easton. Back to Van Vliet. No good on the three. On offense, here are the Heat. They're on a 14-2 run here. And the foul on Tari Eason. That'll be his second foul of the game. One ten left in the fourth quarter. And Rozier, here we go. It's blocked. And clearly, we will not be witnessing a spirited comeback tonight, albeit as exciting as that would be. This was an excellent all-around performance for Miami. When you shoot this well from three-point range, you're really hard to stop. The defense didn't rotate out fast enough to stop the hot shooters. Yeah, exactly, Kevin. They were lethal from deep. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And they've really had a dominant run of games against this opponent this year. They played them three times and won every one. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Jimmy Butler. Every time he shot it, it seemed like it was going to drop in. And if it didn't, everyone was surprised. Nice Brooks. shot by Brooks. Oh, spacing the floor. Brooks is comfortable shooting it from deep. Rockets foul. Eason. Third person foul. Team foul number four. That free throw good from Butler. Now the line. Jimmy Butler. Two. And so Butler nails both of them. That ought to do it. I think any chance for a miracle comeback just went out the window with those freebies. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. And yes, it's good. And definitely a streak shooter. When Brooks is hot, he can carry the offense. Rozier against Green. Now, here's Rozier.
tonight in the NBA. Doris, what are you most looking forward to this season? Well, the long, hot summer is over finally. To me, one of my favorite things is watching the rookies. Which of those guys will make an immediate impact? Which guy gets the most time? And then, you know, some second rounders always seem to surprise us. The diamonds in the rough are perhaps a little more prepared than we thought. Now let's take a look at the Rockets' opening lineup. Tari Eason is out there with Alperon Shangun. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. Then it's Dylan Brooks. And it's Thompson in at the two guard. Brooks against DiVincenzo. Three-pointer Van Vliet. That one goes. Fred now he's one for two. Well, I mean, listen, Fred Van Vliet, you can practically close his eyes. That's how comfortable he is out on the arc. Outside Robinson. Pass to Randall. And here's Brunson, guarded by Van Vliet. Here's Randall, driving in, and it's good! Fought through contact, hit the shot, and will go to the line. Defensive foul, charge. It seems to me Julius Randall improves every season, and the more responsibility he's given, it seems the better he performs. And the basket by Van Vliet. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. We've seen our fair share of NBA players from the U.K., is Ananobi the most successful, you think? Well, B.A., how about this? I mean, he's the first player from the United Kingdom to win an NBA championship. Back in 2019, he was part of that Raptors uh, championship. And think about this. He has now turned himself into that coveted, elite defensive player on the wing, so needed in today's NBA. Okay, Julius Randle. He excels using his athleticism to get to the rim off the drive. Outside for Brooks. Shoots over Ananobi. Second shot opportunity. Van Vliet outside. Six to shoot. Thompson passes to Van Vliet. No good with the triple. The Knicks have gone three of four. Off to a nice start. Pass to Randall. Brunson against Van Vliet. Here's Randall. It's rebounded by Shangoon. I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. Back to Eason. Van Vliet against Brunson. And Dante DiVincenzo is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. First team foul. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. And the basket by Van Vliet. Rise and fire in the catch and shoot. Fred Van Vliet ready and willing. Here's Brunson outside. Rockets with a rebound. Last time they met was in Houston. They really took a smart approach against this team the last time they faced off. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that whistle. And that one drops, so now they lead by one. Alperon Shingun at the line. Both free throws good from Shingun. New York has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Steven Chinzo on the wing, defended by Thompson. Randall can't hit. Boy, what a job defensively. You couldn't play that any better. And here's Brunson from the arc, bearing his second of three attempts. See the work Jalen Brunson has put into his game. Boy, the three-point stroke has really come a long way. Brunson against Van Vliet. Brooks outside. The three sinks that one after missing his first two attempts. Now one for three. Well, we know that Fred Van Vliet can be relied upon to find the open man. This guy's so consistently good at it. Shangun with it. Randall's in his pocket. Brooks outside. Got it. Good job in the low post. Brooks has got his second basket of the night. A throwback wing. Dylan Brooks is very comfortable working down low. And Anobi finds Robinson. 
Brunson taking his time here. And again, New York with the triple. 46 seconds left in the first quarter. Pass to Thompson. And the slam dunk by Thompson. Thompson's vertical is impressive. I love seeing this young guard rise up and throw it down. And here's Brunson from the arc. Easton pulls it in. And here's Thompson. He'll bring it up for Houston. It's a three-point game. Takes it inside. And the slam dunk by Thompson. That first step is so dangerous with Amin. I mean, he was just gone. DiVincenzo, pass to Ananobi. Brunson up top. Launches it. Drops in the three. Brunson's got 12. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Well, it's been a high score. Close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead of the second quarter. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for Houston. Well, guys, early on, they're driving the lane constantly, using their quickness to gain an advantage. Look at their points off penetration. Houston. Yeah, their assertiveness in the paint so far tonight has been impactful. They're really making it hard for the interior defense. So on the floor for Houston, they've got Whitmore. Aaron Holiday out there with Jalen Green. Then it's Steven Adams, and it's Smith in at the four slot. Burks goes in, and he buries his first look. Boy, remarkable watching Alan Burks power through the defense. Holiday passes to Green. Green, and it's hammered home by Green. I just love the aggressive finish. Now, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. Burks against Green with the drive. Hey, how's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. Now, if you see Burks with a lane to the rim, he's going to flush it with power. Holiday finds Green. Tipped. Just over a minute has passed here in the second quarter. Nice pass. Nice catch. And a resounding dunk. Well, how about the court awareness from Bogdanovich showing off his ability to find the open man, Kev? Outside for Green. Pass to Adams. Hartenstein pulls it in. I'll tell you, most of the time this guy's going to finish that, but that was tremendous defense that prohibits him from completing the play. Wow! It's fun to see point guards who can elevate above the rim like that. Oh, a strong mindset and even stronger finish. Boy, it's incredible how much explosive scoring ability can come from the lead guard position. That is a big-time play. Outside Bogdanovich. From downtown. Rockets with a rebound. All right, Grant, I'm going to ask you to put on your executive hat now. Tell us what the key is to establishing culture in an NBA organization. Ooh, B.A., culture, structured accountability. It's about getting the right group of guys, having strong leadership. And, of course, it only works if the coaches and players fully buy in. <laughs> and when the game is this close, you have to go all out. He certainly understands his role, huh? When the shot goes up, just crashes the offensive glass. And that's so demoralizing to your opponent. To play great defense and have the possession end that way, that's tough to take. Here's Whitmore on the take. Outside for Green. Here's the three. Green's feeling it at the arc. You know, Steven Adams could care less about scoring. In fact, you get the sense he takes more pleasure from passing than scoring. Back to Achua. Three minutes of action thus far on the second. Here's Bogdanovich. And then Bogdanovich with the dunk. Trading the lead back and forth. 
neither side is willing to back down. And right now you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. Right wing. Here's Smith. Who poked away. The Knicks with the lead. Burks passes to McBride. Outside Bogdanovich. Achua with a screen. Fires the three. Oh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. Bogdanovich has got great size for a guard, which makes defending him very difficult, particularly at that high release point. A big group substitution here for New York. Mitchell Robinson, he's checked in for Hartenstein. Julius Randle comes in for Achua. DiVincenzo, he's checked in for Burks. And it's Jalen Brunson in for McBride. Shots good by Thompson. We see a taste of Thompson's ridiculous athleticism. Keeping his body under control while taking a hit. Here's Brunson outside. Yes, sir! Brunson for three! And for so many teams in the NBA, establishing the three-point shot is goal number one on offense. He's definitely doing his part tonight. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg, and he is highly accurate tonight. And despite the size mismatch, getting a little aggressive down there in the paint. Some guys just relish the challenge. Find a way, and he does. There's the drive. Brunson steams his way inside. He's been a steady presence for them. Nice to have that kind of safety net at the offensive end. Van Vliet scanning the floor. Pass to Eason. Beyond the arc. The putback. Controls the rebound and the putback. Just great positioning to get the rebound, then get it back up. Oh, Brooks with the steal. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Connects from downtown. Van Vliet's got 11 points. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Hits the trifecta. And the Knicks lead by two. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Three-pointer, Brooks. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. Well, that's a great contest from the length Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three. You love what their second unit has done. Major, major contributions offensively. I just wonder if they can keep it up. And let's take a glance. Appreciate you joining us. We've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. You look at Jalen Brunson. What a contribution. He's hit shot after shot from deep. He's so locked in right now. Well, the break certainly didn't have a cooling effect on him at all. He's in a great rhythm, looking comfortable and confident. Randall and Robinson are the tandem inside. Dante DiVincenzo out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Ananobi in at the three. That's Tom Thibodeau's five as we get going in the second half. I don't know how you cannot love Fred Van Vliet. This guy brings toughness. He's fearless in the clutch. He competes on the defensive end, and his IQ is as good as it gets. And he nails the third. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. Here's Brunson. It's Brunson working inside. Jalen Brunson right now attacking without hesitation. His foot is on the gas pedal. Thompson goes in. On the wing, Thompson. Brunson against Van Vliet for three. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Van Vliet's got six in the quarter. Here in the second half, this game's still nip and tuck. Just an insane amount of lead changes. The fans are getting their money's worth. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Fred Van Vliet went from undrafted to an NBA All-Star. He said, quote, individually, there's still a lot left I want to get done. But trying to chase that next championship is what I'm locked in on. That feeling trumps anything I've ever done in my life. 
Besides my kids, that's right up there as far as personal journeys and accomplishments, Brian. He's got it in the right order. Thanks, Allie. And with a little over a minute gone by, the second half is underway. Here's Van Vliet. The shot's good. Fred Van, Van Vliet's got 19 points. That's the urgency of Fred Van Vliet on the drive that really gets the defense off kilter. They don't get much of a chance to react with this guy. Fires the three. And Brunson with the bucket. On the assist by DiVincenzo. And the Knicks lead by one. You've got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out. Brings it. Shangun, a screen on Brunson. Pass to Shangun. There's the three. And it's Brunson with the rebound. The Knicks have gone three of three in the second half. And a guy who entered the league in a supporting role for Jalen Brunson, now a legitimate star. He is, B.A., and consider that this is a man who was drafted in the second round and just kept working, biding his time, and contributing to winning. And the greater the opportunity, the more he has stretched to meet that opportunity. So New York ends up going with a whole new group. Substitution on the court. Pass to Hardenstein. Here's McBride. Now here's Burks. Green covering. Left side, Burks. Down to five on the shot clock. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to go on Jalen Green. Love to see Alec Burks get aggressive with the defense. This guy terrific, getting the defense to foul him. Two shots. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. Outside, Green. Drives to the hoop. On the run, Green. This is Green at his best. Electric off the bounce. And a great, great finisher. A nice shot by McBride. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Pass to Holiday. Inside. Ooh, and Adams, strong finish. Steven Adams is a great option in these pick and rolls. We know he's a high percentage finisher, guys. Hartenstein goes to the left wing. Achua for three. Goes back up. Over to the wing. Outside Burks. Shot clock at six. And he slams it in one-handed. Well, Burks has exceptional athleticism. And ooh, he flies to the cup. To the paint. Here's Smith. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. I just love the aggressive finish. Now, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. Pass to Burks. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And with a pause in the action, here we have the best rebounding teams from last year. In third, New York. Houston, fourth. And both of these teams really impressed when it came to rebounding the ball last year. That level of physicality and hustle is always great to see. Alec Burks continuing to develop into a dependable scorer. He's got great size for a two-guard. Green, the pass to Adams. Smith outside. A minute nine left in the third quarter here. To the inside. And he jams it home with authority. Oh, my. Two points. The easy way for Smith. Here's McBride. He's covered by Holiday. Burks against Green. Pass to Bogdanovich. Here's McBride. Achua passes to Bogdanovich. New York no good that time either. The Rockets trail. Green finds Holiday. Back to Green for the tie. They get it back. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Burks with it. Guarded now by Holiday. Here's the teardrop. Burks no good. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Adams, the pass to Green. For the lead. Nice execution inside from Green. 
Green is so used to having to overpower defenders, and he takes great pride in it. And we've reached the end of the third quarter. Just a terrific game thus far. The Rock. And we take a listen in now to Tom Thibodeau. You guys got to read the ball better. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. So the Rockets five now. We've got Fred Van Vliet. Tari Eason is out there with Alperon Shangun. Then it's Thompson. And it's Brooks in at the three. Small forward. Brunson against Van Vliet. Here's Shangun. And Shangun throw it down. This continues to be a battle. The lead is within reach. Yeah, but that's been elusive. They've missed a few plays along the way that they'd love to have back. Uh, Julius Randle showing off the hand. Boy, that was a tough-looking move. Screen by Eason. Van Vliet, the pass to Eason. Van Vliet against Randle. Shingun. And a great assist by Van Vliet as that one goes. And the Rockets lead by one. This is the very definition of a back-and-forth contest. Yes, neither side taking its foot off the gas. I'm expecting a spectacular finish. Pass to DiVincenzo. Randall a screen on Thompson. The three, DiVincenzo. Eason pulls it in. Eason's got his fourth rebound in this one. Gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Brooks drives in. Yeah, the rare guard who doesn't take a ton of three-pointers. Brooks is a player who enjoys his time inside the line. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Rockets. Yeah, what stood out to me was their passing. They moved the ball effortlessly and have been able to find those holes in the defense. Boy, the long ball has been another point of emphasis for this group tonight. Their shooters are climbing open spaces and firing without hesitation. The drive by Brooks. Van Vliet outside. Eason, a screen on Ananobi. And the basket by Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got 10 points here in the second half. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Well, the defense is smart to get close to Randall, but he powers through it anyway. 63-62. Eason, pass to Van Vliet. Thompson outside. Back to Van Vliet. From outside the arc. It's hauled in by Robinson. New York has gone 7 of 14 from the perimeter in this one. Vincenzo driving. Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. Yeah, give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. They're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. I'll tell you, we have seen great execution from both teams. Neither one giving an inch here. So for the Rockets, Smith, he's checked in for Eason. And Green is subbed in for Van Vliet. Green against Brunson. And it's Green off the drive. And he converts the layup. Now it's a three-point Houston lead. And demonstrating how fearless he is, Green welcomes the chance to take important shots. Two minutes. Driving inside. DiVincenzo against Thompson. Ananobi passes to Brunson. That one goes. And that's his ninth made shot in 12 attempts. Jalen Brunson wants the ball at these moments, and there he shows you why. Big time shot. And so it looks like it'll be Houston's ball. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Brooks against Ananobi. Back to Shangun. Five on the clock. Brooks finds Shangun. Pulls up on the wing. And Brooks with a basket on the assist by Shangun. Shangun's got three assists tonight. And this team is counting on Brooks in big time moments. And guess what? Dylan delivers. You want the ball to find its way into Brunson's hands in these big time moments. He relishes the opportunity. 
Smith with a screen on Brunson. Smith outside. Outside, Green. And the slam dunk by Thompson. Just a rookie, but Thompson already taking and making big time shots. Green against Brunson. Pass to DiVincenzo. From the arc. Cash. Oh, a tremendous three. We're tied. And the stakes were high right there. What a look like. Well, I'll tell you, that changes things, doesn't it? Good job, young fella. What a game. Outside, Green. Driving to the basket. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. DiVincenzo. Pass to Robinson. Robinson, a screen on Thompson. Here's Brunson. Oh, oh fly! With as much as Brunson handles the ball, he's going to find himself at the line in these key situations. Ooh, knocks down the clutch free throw. And so he drops them both, and it's a two-point ball game. Not easy to keep your focus when there's so much riding on those free throws. But that was excellent work in the clutch. Absolutely fearless. Green takes the big shot like it's any other bucket. Brunson passes to Randall. Oh, no good! Time expires. We're going to overtime. Don't go away. We'll be back tomorrow. Well, four quarters were enough to decide this ball game. Sit back and enjoy as we move on to overtime. Brooks and Smith make up the two forwards. Green out there with Thompson. And it's Shangoon in at the five down low. Shangoon, a screen on Brunson. Green with the ball. And it's Robinson picking him up. Talk about using that speed. Green to the rim with ease. Pass to DiVincenzo. Up top, Robinson. Back to DiVincenzo. Thompson with a steal. The finish. No doubt. Jalen Green. And this is not the time to be giving up turnovers. Those points could end up being a deciding factor in this game. Knicks foul. Mitchell Robinson. Second personal foul. First the free throw drops for Brooks. He knows just how important these shots are, and he makes them count. Houston in the lead. And they're dialed in offensively. Sure are. Staying in attack mode and at the same time playing under control. The three, Smith, counted from distance. Oh, you talk about guys close to seven feet, and Smith is one of the best from deep. Outside Brunson to halt the run. Brunson answers back. And I think the crowd is admiring the long-range duel. Rockets lead. Here's Thompson. Tries to save it. Out of bounds. It'll be New York's ball. That's miscommunication, and we rarely see that happen. Just a superb read on defense to come up with a block. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. Brunson finds DiVincenzo. Back to Brunson. Up top, DiVincenzo. Clock at six. The Rockets pull it in. Angoon's got six rebounds in the game. And he's going for the lob! Already an intelligent playmaker, Thompson moves the ball well for a rookie. The Knicks have gotten one shot to fall out of three in OT. Here's Robinson. Back to Brunson. Over Green. It's rebounded by Shangoon. Shingoon's got rebound number seven tonight. Thompson passes to Smith. Just about two minutes into the overtime period. What a game. Pass to Shingoon. And here's Smith. Shot clock at five. Back to Shingoon. And Shingoon throw it down. You've got to give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Here's Brunson. 
And the Knicks miss again. That's a shot he makes with regularity, but that time the defense up to the challenge. Javon, nice Smith. shot by Smith. What a performance tonight. Getting a win like this on the road is such a boost. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. And a big finish by Robinson. You've got to have a great sense of timing on the alley pass. Fantastic finish by Mitchell Robinson. Thompson against DiVincenzo. Now here's Thompson. Tight defense on him.
game out of the season, right, Steve? Oh. No other feeling like it. Starting a brand new year, there's so much excitement around the league right now. I love it, Kevin, especially for the fans. They have been waiting for this moment. The energy inside here is amazing. So the opening lineup for the Heat, the wingmen, it's Hero and Butler. Then it's Bam Adebayo. Then there's Terry Rozier. And it's Jovic in a power forward position. And that one's good Jimmy by Butler. Butler. There's the grit of Jimmy Butler. Defender all over him. Contact, and it's a bucket all the same. He is so good attacking the rim. It's rare to see him denied like that. Pass to Autobio. Off target from outside. Last outing for Miami, it was a loss to the 76ers in Philadelphia. Outside for Randall. A three-pointer is right on target. Just can't give him that shot anymore. Julius is now comfortable from distance. Here in and here out, Smitty, the Heat bring energy and commitment to the defensive end. Kevin, the Miami Heat has a strong culture, and they've done a good job bringing in players that match their identity. It's led to a great deal of success. Clock is at three. On deep, Brunson. It's good from long range. Just a reflexive move by Brunson, putting complete trust in his mechanics. And slam dunk by Butler. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. And it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And an early swap like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Stolen by Brunson. Three-pointer. Sinks the three-pointer. Brunson's got six. And Brunson more than comfortable shooting the three. And boy, is he efficient when he lets it fly. Jovic. Rozier looking around. Lock at six. Good ball movement here by the Heat. Second shot opportunity. He's now one for two with that bucket. The more of those mid-range jumpers Rozier hits, the more the passing lanes will open up for him. Robinson finds Ananobi. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Jimmy Butler. And with the move to positionless basketball, wing players with the size and strength of OG Ananobi tremendously in demand. You need a guy who can hang with all the superstar wings defensively. And OG has a better shot than most. Now, here's Adebayo. Last game, he had 10 points. Adebayo with a screen for Butler. A three-pointer, no good. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. On the wing, DiVincenzo. Back to Brunson. Unloads. Cans the shot from the wing. He's got eight. Oh, great ball movement there. The Heat trail by six. Passes it to Autobio. That's good, and it's Rogier with the assist. You can't shake Bam out of bio when he's focused, even if the defense is playing physical. The pass to Robinson. Back to Ananobi. To the inside. Out to Brunson. This one for three. It's hauled in by Hero. Miami's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Pass to Autobio. Hero against Brunson. Back to Adebayo. On the wing, Rogier. Hero passes to Rogier. Hits it from three-point range. Rogier's got five now. Continues to develop as a playmaker. It's nice to see Tyler Hero create for others. Brunson, good. Man, he has been locked in this quarter. Shouldering the load at the offensive end. Rozier finds Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. And once Rozier spots that hole in the defense, he just doesn't hesitate. Just sends the ball to an open shooter. Now, here's DiVincenzo. In the game against Chicago, very impressive. 
high offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. Here's Jovic. There's 38 seconds left in the first. And Anobi sends it back. Pass to DiVincenzo. Puts up a three. And again, New York with the triple. And really setting the tone early with their three-point shooting. Next lead. Passes it to Rozier. There's 18 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Abayo down low. Guarded by Robinson. And Mitchell Robinson is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Man, that's, it's close, but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. There's the pass to Hawkes. And he bangs it home with one hand. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And you know we all... Jalen Brunson has been on display for the Knicks. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. Back to the action in just a minute. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Knicks? Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. And it seems they've also put an emphasis on moving the ball. Working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks. On the court for Miami here in the second. Dewan Wright is out there with Duncan Robinson. Then it's Josh Richardson. Then it's Bryant. And it's Hawkes in at the four. New York on D. That evens the score. Here's McBride. As to Hartenstein. He kicks to Burks. Takes the three. It's rebounded by Bryant. And so it's Wright bringing up the ball for Miami. Last time they met was in Miami. Yeah, I think they prepared to face more defensive pressure and that one didn't happen and boy, they just rolled. They came in focused and ready to play and despite facing little resistance, they never pulled back. And it goes down two points. Blazing first step of Burks, enabling him to leave the defense in his wake. And when Burks is out there, they've got a player who can score from anywhere. G.A., he will make the defense work. It's hard to decide who to put on Alex Burke because of his versatility. Nice to have a guy with that kind of flexibility. Robinson passes to Bryant. Elbow shot. Again, the Heat good for two. The defense was clearly not on the same page. No one picked up the open man. A three from Bogdanovich. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. I like to see Bogdanovich showing off his handles. Makes the defense think twice if they get too aggressive with him. Bryant dishes to Richardson. Right outside. Outside Robinson. Shot clock at six. Launches a three. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. Aggressive closeout on a great jump shooter. That's how you defend against the three. There's a screen. Hatkanovich wide open. And the Knicks hit again from deep. With unlimited range, Bogdanovich forces you to defend your defense. Here's Richardson. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. But don't play it you are. And some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. The Knicks leading by four. And there's the try. And that one is hammered home. Oh, he just punches that one down with a fury. He rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. Three-pointer right. The Knicks pull it in. Bogdanovich with it. Now defended by Bryant. 
Bogdanovich, you know what? The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. Richardson, know what? New York with the ball. They're on a 12-4 run. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA. The lead is what it is right now. It's a backbreaker for your defense, giving up easy buckets like that. And again, it's New York. You know what? They've been on a nice run here. They have the ability to widen the gap. Now they are rolling. I totally agree. They just can't be stopped. They're just firing on all cylinders. And right, here we go. And Robinson wide open. He shoots. Cans the shot with nobody near him. Robinson's got six points in the quarter. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. Here's Burks. Sweet little floater. Burks has got the lead up to 10 now for the next. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Right, the pass to Bryant. Back to right. Fires the three. It's deflected. Richardson against Bogdanovich. That one is good from Hartenstein. And now a 12-point Knicks lead. And when he breaks out the crossover, you can be sure he's going to leave somebody in his way. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Burks on the wing. He's got eight. Shoots the three. Sinks the triple. McBride's got his second basket of the night. He stands 6'6". He's a combo guard. Burks is capable of handling and creating for others. Right. That's a two-pointer. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's New York looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping it. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third-quarter basketball. They look like they attended the shooting school of Dr. Onilovich. Great touch from the perimeter. I'm looking in the mirror. Now let's take a moment and... That is more than enough of us. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You know, Jalen Brunson has been exceptional here, guys. Wow. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. Rando will step in at the four with Robinson as the center. Jalen Brunson out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's on an OB in at the three with the small forward. So that's who Tom Thibodeau starts the second half with. Here's Hawkes. He's guarded by Ananobi. Four on the clock. Here's Richardson. It's rebounded by Ananobi. The Knicks leading by 15. Here's Randall. And then Randall slams it in. Showing not just the dominance, but the creativity. Randall with the highlight real play. Right from outside. Miami no good on that time either. They've come out of ice cold to start this half. Three misses and as many attempts. You've heard people say it's a make or miss league. Is that whole truth? It seems so, right? Shooting percentages correlate more with winning than possession stats, like turnovers or offensive rebounds. It's clear shot making has never been more valuable, but the ability to disrupt rhythm still plays a big role. And the Heat going with the whole new group on the floor. Aside from the rim runners in this league, most bigs are now asked to help stretch the floor. It's Randall with the drive. Robinson passes to Randall. New York moving the ball around. Just five to shoot. Here's Ananobi driving in. And then Ananobi slams it in. Light on his 
speed, quick off the floor, and showing creativity. OG Ananobi, wow. Unselfish, moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. Robinson finds Randall. And stolen by Butler. On the wing, Rogier. There's Hero with a three. No good. Good D by Ananobi. And for Jimmy Butler. He's the type of player we know, Steve, that fills in the gaps wherever his team needs it. Kevin, he's often the top scorer, defender, and playmaker for his team. His desire to win is unmatched. Jimmy Butler might be the most overlooked superstar in this league. Abayo down low. Robinson on him. The shot by Autobio, no good. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Trains the three-pointer. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And recently, City, we see Batman about to step it up on the offensive end. Greg is always excited to see a great player take it to another level. He's obviously even more comfortable than ever attacking the hoop. And a whole new group out on the floor right now for the Knicks. Pass to Achua. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. And the layup is good. Achua's got his second basket. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them. And feet to the right side. McBride passes to Burks. Here's Achua. He tries for three. Offensive rebound. Back to Burks. Launches it. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six in the game. Burks is really good at picking his spots from outside when he's on the floor. A highly efficient shooter. Now a timeout called by Miami. And Miami going with a whole new group out there. And let's take a look at the playmaking here. This chart with the assist totals split between the front court and the back court tonight for Miami. This backcourt is really shouldering the load in terms of the ball movement and, and great assists. When you look at the overall contributions compared to the bigs, nice work on distributing the ball. Right, the pass to Hawkes. And here is Bryant. A shot from the low post is good. From Bryant's got his second basket of the night. That's the pass you want, orchestrating the offense, creating for others. Achua finds Bogdanovich. Knock loose. And here's the fast break. Richardson leading the way. Here's Hakez. Good on the three-point shot. Hakez has got eight. Wow, something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to float. Bogdanovich and the Knicks getting another bucket right there. The Heat trail by 20. 62, 42. Right, looking around. Jacks up a three. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. Hartenstein's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And it's Bogdanovich in the corner. From past the arc. And the Knicks hit again from deep. Having a lot of trouble stopping the three-point shot. Well, he have gone to somewhat so far 4-10 on their shots in the second half so far. Robinson for three. It's rebounded by New York. Three-pointer. Bogdanovich, no luck. From deep, Richardson. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And so it's the New York Knicks. Riding high with a 23. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with his feet. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Creating plays for others. It's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. On the court for the Heat, they've got Wright. He's out there with Duncan Robinson. Thomas Bryan is out there with Josh Richardson. And it's Hawkeyes in at the fourth one. And Bryant slams it in. Give Josh credit. Taking the challenge offensively. Discipline. And that's a beautiful pass. 
Passes to Hartenstein. From the arc. And McBride gets it to go. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five mates are from beyond the arc. And the edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And, and slams it home and gets some camera time on the end of it. He did. He spent a while up on that rim, didn't he? 44. Right outside. Robinson passes to Hawkes. And he says, right back at you with a big dunk of his own. Nice pass. This team wants Duncan to do that more often. Burks kicks to Bogdanovich. A three ball. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Achua finds Bogdanovich. Top of the key jumper, no good. For Miami, they've gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Right outside. And there's the pass to Hawkes with the drive. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Assist now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. It's good. And his teammates appreciate the unselfishness. Bogdanovich willing to get it to his open guys. Robinson for three. Good on the triple. How can you leave this guy that wide open? Please. That's terrible. Here's a chew up. Count the basket. He's been a big factor in their offense tonight, making shot after shot. Right, this is to Robinson. Off to right. It's Richardson on the wing. Plays it up off the glass. The ball handling skills of Josh, showing off his ability to create for himself. Pass to McBride. Kicks it to Bogdanovich. There's the triple. They get it again. Hartenstein passes to Burks. Now, here's Achua. Six to shoot. Tries again. McBride's shot is off. High percentage look for him. But bottom line, they're not all going to go down. Here's Wright. And the dunk by Wright. Right. Straight power, homie. I mean, he ripped it down <laughs> with both hands. Absolutely a resounding dunk. Boganovich passes to Hartenstein. Burks against Robinson. Here's Hartenstein. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Some nice passing by New York here. A shot by Burks. Nobody around. Rebound by the Heat. The defense was begging him to take that shot, and he took the bait. But you can't blame him. Great positioning on the putback. And the Knicks lead by 21. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. You can safely say mission accomplished now for New York. And, guys, the fast break was run, I thought, beautifully all night by these guys. I think that was a good part of the season. Yeah, they definitely ran the break well. A big advantage in that category. And they continually put pressure on the defense. And it will go down as their first official win of the new year. And on the season, this is going to be their third win in four games against this team. And, you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Jalen Brunson. Throughout the night, he was their catalyst at the offensive end. Play after play was run through him with great success. And that's a foul called on Bam Adebayo. That's his first foul. First team and, and you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Glad we got the chance to see that remarkable rejection. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Brunson, no good. And here's Zero. He'll bring it up for Miami. Trailing by 17. Took him no time at all on that one. And you got to like that they found something positive here, something that maybe carry overs into the next game. They put together some great possessions here at the end. 
It's a shame they could have used this run much earlier. What an impressive job by the players, he coaches, he and don't discount the effect of these fans. They gave the team tremendous energy tonight. The fans were fantastic. It was a true home court advantage. Inspired tonight. They fought hard and at crucial points just made the plays. Especially during this last run, which ultimately put the game away. Smart anchor at passes, Greg, are really paying off for them at the moment. And also good off-ball movement. Everyone is paying attention and looking to create the best shot for the team. Butler against Ananobi.
went to a new team three times. Not a lot of movement there for you, my friend. What was switching teams like? Well, B.A., at this point of the season, it's just, it's too early. I mean, you're still trying to get comfortable, trying to learn a new system, a new environment, and really just find your place within the organization. All right, now let's check out the starters for the Miami Heat. Hero and Butler make up the Terry perimeter Rozier, pair. Rozier. Then it's Terry Rozier. Please. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Jovic in at the four. It's Eason with the jam. Yeah, no question Van Vliet was going to find his man. He has excellent court vision. Here's Rozier. And he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. What a finish. I mean, he just took over himself. What a show of power right there from the point guard. Man, sweet. Wait. A point guard getting up like that? Boy, that is special. Hero, the pass to Rozier. Here's Jovic. Buries it down low. What vision from Rozier there. Seeing his teammate was wide open and making the right pass. And lead against Rozier. The shot. Eason can't get it to go. Oh, I can see some miscommunication on defense there very clearly. They were super fortunate it didn't torch them with that mistake. Rozier, the pass to Jovic. Van Vliet against Rozier. Pass to Jovic. Four on the clock. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. And how great are they playing? Four for four shooting to start this one. Eason finds Thompson. About two minutes gone by in the first quarter. Van Vliet, the pass to Thompson. Rebound by the Heat. Boy, the offense has been on point. <laughs> they have great timing and great communication. So hard to get stops against them. There you go. He's a monster at the rim. So athletic. Obviously, he plays on the attack. Brooks drives in, and there's the slam. Dunk to finish it off. And what a drive from Brooks. Just carving through the defense like me on the slopes in Aspen. Jovic passes to Adebayo. Here's Jovic. Knocked away. Pass to Butler. And it's Butler with the jam. And this is where Butler wants to attack you. Ground zero. Here's Thompson. And the slam dunk by Thompson. <laughs> this is legit showmanship right here. I mean, I'm a huge fan of the Tomahawk Bear. That's more than just getting two points. That was sending a clear message. And there's the call. It's on Bam Adebayo. That's his first foul. First team foul. For Houston, they've gotten five of seven shots to fall. Van Vliet, the pass to Thompson. Now Brooks. Back to Thompson. And lead on the wing, bounded by Rozier. Three-pointer, Brooks. Adebayo grabs the board. The Heat with the lead to the middle. Eason with a steal. On the wing, Brooks. There's the triple. Gets it to go. That makes him two for three in this game. I like everything he's doing so far offensively. Finding his spots, making strong selections. When you talk wings, Butler is a top-notch passer. He has a great understanding of the game. Van Vliet misses. For Miami, they've got seven of eight in the basket. Out to the right wing. It's Adebayo with the drive. And finished off by Adebayo. He gives up a bit of size at the center position, but his leaping ability, well, let's just say that makes up for it. Thompson, that's good. You know, inside is where Thompson excels, and the concentration allowing him to finish there. Here's Butler. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Butler's got six points. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Van Vliet finds Brooks. Thompson outside. 
The kick out to Van Vliet. Let's go with a three. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. Already an intelligent playmaker, Thompson moves the ball well for a rookie. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And finished off by Adebayo. And just shredding apart the defense with his passing. He's helping to pace this offense so well. He's locked in with his teammates right now, setting guys up in perfect position. Eason, a screen on Hero. And the slam dunk by Thompson. Thompson's vertical is impressive. I love seeing this young guard rise up and throw it down. Rozier outside. There's the drive. And the layup is good. Nine points in the game. I know what they say. Defense wins championships. But you need some bucket getters too now. Got it up. A big time effort for Terry Rozier. Providing a lot of energy for the Heat. Moving the right. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Heat. They've started the game the right way, penetrating the defense and attacking the rim. They're just not settling. And, and another thing, they found the open man. Really playing unselfish basketball, moving the ball around there on the perimeter. They've got Whitmore, Jayshon Tate out there with Alperon Shangun. Then it's Aaron Holiday, and it's Green in at the two. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. Cut X from downtown. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. Holiday passes to Shangun. Out to the wing. Here's Whitmore outside. And the Rockets hit again from deep. <laughs> that's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Richardson for three. Knocks Jack down the triple. Richardson. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. What are you doing? Holiday against Wright. That's good from Holiday on the assist by Shingu. Holiday's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Wright, the pass to Bryant. Outside Robinson. The three on target from range. Robinson's got six points in the quarter. Just a smooth operator from distance. They'll be tighter to him next time, I bet. And the basket by Holiday. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. For three, Robinson. And the Heat, another three. That scoreless first quarter, that might have woke him up, and he's turned it on here in the second. Picked by Tate. Here's Whitmore, and he drives in. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Yes, yeah, slashing toward the hoop. Whitmore not hesitating when he sees an opportunity. Crafty move, and it's Robinson penetrating. Rebounded by Green. Houston has gone four of six from three-point range thus far. It's stolen by Wright. Inside, here's Robinson, and he finishes. That makes him four out of five. It's harder to thread those passes inside, but the reward is evident. Green to the rack, and the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to be on Thomas Bryant. Green quick off the dribble, had the defenders reach a little bit out there. Richard taking a look at Jalen Green's career so far. He's certainly not bashful shooting the ball. No, and I think it's because his coaches and teammates want him to be confident, B.A., because once he gets a few to fall, man, this man becomes very dangerous. Out left to the wing. Here's Jaquez. He's scoreless. Six on the shot clock. Here's Richardson. It's rebounded by Shangun. Houston has gone two for two from the arc here in the second. Two minutes. Here's Green. And it's hammered home by Green. That is a deep contest worthy move. Green just putting on a show right there. Right pass to Richardson. Puts up a three. And the Heat, another three. Three They're points. getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Oh, stolen by Richardson. Fast break. Here come the Heat. 
And there's the call on Jalen Green. That's his first foul. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. And the Rockets timeout, timeout. going with a whole new group out there. Timeout call. The Heat. Miami calls. A line change here for Miami. And while we have a break, here were some of the top free throw shooters in the game last season. Number one, Tyler Hero. This guy is just lights out from the line. He demonstrated that last season and really hurt teams whenever they fouled him. Easton with a steal. In transition, here they come. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. Brooks has got eight points. And he's much more comfortable shooting off a pass. Brooks with a nice shot. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And that one falls for Hero. The line for the Heat, Tyler Hero. And so Hero nails both of them. Now he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. And Van Vliet has got the ball here for the Rockets. It's a five-point game. Smith passes to Thompson. Smith with it. Now guarded by Rozier. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. And it's Miami with a rebound. Adebayo's got five rebounds in the game. Stolen by Van Vliet. Outside Eason. Fires the three. Oh, wow. Drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. Ooh, good defensive intensity. But you have to stay in control always. And the second free throw is good. And he can't make it three for three. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. Rozier gets the bucket. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Oh, wasted no time on that one. Van Vliet's got his third basket on the night right there. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. That free throw misses. And when you look at Rogier, such a fantastic score. A gear-shifting, talented guard who continues to improve. I love it. In attack mode. Drawing foul calls this quarter and getting to the free throw line. Van Vliet misses. The Heat have gotten eight of their first ten to go. Great shooting here in the second quarter. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock and the game clock. Adebayo passes to Jovic. Poke loose. Easton with a steal. If they take their time, this will be the final possession of the quarter. Yeah, it's all about clock management with these situations. Let's see how that plays out. Butler on the wing. Three seconds left. Here's Hero. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. It's the Heat up four. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. Taking a look here at the Rockets, at this point you got to take every team you're up against as a test. Asking yourself, what can we do? Now turning our focus to the Miami Heat, this game has been a nail biter. How about that ball movement? So often we see... And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. You know, one of the stories here, Terry Rozier. Man, is he getting it done today? Yeah, he's kind of been the floor general for them tonight. A lot of assists for him. And it's a role we don't always see him in. But he's done a great job tonight getting the rest of his team involved. And on the floor for Eric Spolstra starting the second half. Hero and Butler make up the perimeter pair. Then it's Bam out of bio. Then it's Terry Rozier. And it's Jovic in at the power forward position. The Rockets trail. Spins. It's Van Vliet with a drive. And he lays it up and in. Van Vliet's got 10 points in the game. You know, there's some great ball handlers in the league today. But maybe not as much as in the past, RJ. Well, most teams are more focused on ball movement now. Yeah. Passing is the emphasis, not ISO play. But at the end of the day, you better have a guy late game that can do the ISO work. Pass to Eason. For the tie, he 
takes it in. Good. And Van Vliet gets the assist. Van Vliet's got three assists tonight. <laughs> A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. One imagines that might be discussed at halftime. That's going to be on the film. Adebayo. And Adebayo slams it in. What a confident dunk by Adebayo. He knows there's little the defense can do once he's elevated. Here's Smith. And Hero grabs the board. And the defense was right on him there. Nice contest. And Adebayo slams it in. Ooh, that's a tough spot to be in as a defender. With that height disadvantage, it's very hard to protect the rim. Thompson passes to Brooks. Pass to Eason. Going inside. It's Eason with the jam. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. Here's Adebayo, and finished off by Adebayo. A quality pass, setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. Smith passes to Van Vliet. Takes a three. Count that one. He's now five for eight. They're on fire right now. Shooting 80% to start the second half. Pass to Jovic. Knocked loose. And here we go. The Rockets in transition. Up ahead. Out to Thompson. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Extremely competitive game thus far. Yeah, six lead changes in total. I expect there to be more to come. And Butler inside. Yeah, an assertive move there by Butler. Shaking off his defender and finding the bucket. Smith with a screen on Rozier. Pass to Smith. Brooks outside. Back to Smith. Stolen by Rozier. Fast break Miami. Outside for Butler. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. They're playing great team basketball. It's good movement and sharp, crisp passing. Three-pointer, Brooks. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. Brooks has got 11 points. And you got to at least honor Brooks' three-point shot if you're the defense. I mean, he is more than capable of connecting. Pass to Hero. Rozier outside. And here's Adebayo. Here's Jovic, defended by Eason. Jovic's shot is off. Timeout called. Houston. Adjustments are a part of every game in every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page. Knocks it loose. Substitution on the board. Timeout charge to Houston. Taking a look back at last season, the team leaders in rebounding. Houston, fourth. You can see the emphasis they put on rebounding. Such a huge part of their game and one that they didn't ignore. One oh seven left in the third quarter. Outside Richardson. Three-pointer. Rebounded by Green. And so it's Green who brings up the ball for the Rockets. And that one is hammered home! A sometimes underrated playmaker. Green showing good patience and vision. For three, Robinson. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. From behind the arc. And there's Green on the assist by Shingu. Now it's a five-point Rocket lead. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Pass to Whitmore. Shangun, the screen. Into the lane. And he takes that one up and powers it through. An impressive athlete. 
This rookie Whitmore loves getting inside and hammering it home. Green, the pass to Holiday. And Holiday powers it home. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. We know mistakes lead to breaks. Yeah, that's, that's just the textbook the right there. And you so it's used. And meanwhile, Eric Spolstra rallied. We have got to get shots. We trust each Three tense play. quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. Jayshon Tate out there with Whitmore. Then it's Jalen Green. Oh! oh, oh, oh nice oh, finish. Man, oh. big time right there. Well, one of Green's many advantages oh. is how quickly he gets off the floor. Right, the pass to Bryant. Back to right. Bryant finds right. Here he goes. That one falls. This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stop down the stretch. Because that's who's going to come away with this one. First personal foul. First team foul. Substitution on the board. A three off the inbound. Rebounded by Jovic. That is not a guy you want to allow open looks from range. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. The Rockets with another miss. Miami trailing. Pass to Adebayo. And Rozier, here we go. Adebayo passes to Rozier. And here's Butler outside. Boom! Jimmy. Three for Jimmy. A big night for Butler. We've seen him as the guy on a finals team, and Jimmy can definitely carry your offense. And it's the Heat with the ball. Hero for three. And the Heat, another three. That's a clutch shot by a big-time shooter. And where's the D? Van Vliet scanning the floor. He's got it. Six of ten now. They have no answer defensively inside. The Heat have gone a perfect three for three here in the fourth. Butler passes to Hero. Pass to Adebayo. And he banks in the layup. He does all the dirty work. If Bam has to finish in traffic, take contact, he doesn't think twice about it. Van Vliet with it. Hero picks him up. The kick out to Van Vliet. Three-pointer. And Rozier pulls it down. And it's Miami's ball. They've outscored him 10-2 during this run. Back to Adebayo. He gets it. He's seven for eight and really going at him out there. And he's been much more assertive here in the second half. Getting to his spots, executing with ease. Here's Easton. It's Easton with the jam. <laughs> Win or lose, this is the fight you want to see from your players. You can't question the desire of these teams. It's going to be difficult for either side to get separation. And it's obvious how much Rozier loves coming up huge for his team. Capable of nailing big-time shots. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Miami. Uh, they're moving the ball around so well, guys. Quick passes, letting the next guy do the work if you don't have a look. We also got to highlight how on fire they've been from three-point land. They've continued to capitalize from beyond the arc in this one. They're not the strongest part of Thompson's game, but he continues to work in the gym to improve. That's tip. Oh, Brooks with the steal. Pass break. Here come the Rockets. On up the court. It's Easton with the jam. Oh, this one has turned into an absolute nail-biter. Yeah, at this point, you almost expect it to come down to the last possession. Butler on the wing. Over Brooks. Butler can't get it to go. The Rockets have got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Thompson passes to Eason. The kick out to Van Vliet. Launches a three. Rebounded by Jovic. Jovic has got four rebounds now. And it's Rozier. That time on the assist by Butler. Butler's got three assists in the game. Brooks drives in. And he makes no mistake. 
And this team is counting on Brooks in big-time moments. And guess what? Dylan delivers. On the take. Pass to Adebayo. Outside Butler. We've got 108 left in the game. Adebayo finds Butler. Just five on the clock. Here's Jovic. Jacks up a three. Offensive rebound. Rozier outside. Back to Adebayo. Here's Hero. No good. Not a friendly rim at all this trip down. Smith with it. Hero picks him up. <laughs> Talk about stepping up in a big way. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. Butler passes to Hero. The three ball. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Stolen by Hero. Out to the right wing. And here's Butler outside. And he sinks it. Oh! An enormous three-pointer! And some players shrink when the pressure's on, but he lives for these moments. Houston calls timeout. Seconds left in the fourth. There are guys that will take that shot, and there are guys that will make that shot. Green is one of those guys that will make that shot. Now a timeout called by Miami. They're behind by two. We've got 13 seconds left in the final quarter. All right, guys, what's your take? A chance to tie it up here. And you also have to wonder if they'll try for a three. But they'll probably try for a two, but if something opens up outside, I doubt that they will hesitate to take it. Oh, my. Showing veteran poise. Rozier doesn't let the pressure get to him. left to play in the fourth. You don't need experience if you have guts. The young fella gets thrown right into the action. Smith Jr. wants to be here in late game. Miami calls timeout. They're down by two. Three seconds left in the fourth quarter. All right, guys, what do you think? I would honestly attempt to get the ball near the rim because even if the shot doesn't fall...